Turn it on. Oh, I love that sound. It's already looking pretty damn good. <laughs> Now we know this PS1 has had some disc read problems because it's OG model, like the very first model, which to me is uh, ironically the best model because it's the only model of PS1 that has RCA audio outputs. Did that sound good or what, right? That sounded amazing. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, Walk. That's the, the nostalgia. That nostalgia just coming on in. You need to get a PS1 now. Oh, man. You know that this model PS1 is popular among audiophiles. They buy it to use a CD player because of how good the audio quality it is. It outputs. Oh, tradition. Always watch the intro. Always watch the intro. Tradition time. If it's a hype intro, we watch it. Here comes the nostalgia. You got a PS1 square one? Well, most of them are square, Zordon. Almost all of them. But the original model had the RCA audio outputs. The amount of hours you spent on this game, it's so good. Dude, Stones, I feel like this game is so underrated. But yeah, here's our copy. It's beat up. It's beat to hell, but it survived the decades. It survived the decades. The discs are spotless. The case is ruined. So the case did its job. It saved the discs. Chrono Cross. This is Chrono Cross, Mr. Monkey. What a banger of a song. You have the OSSC and the Frame Meister. Ace Guru. This is the newest Retro Tink 5X. It's not cheap, but it's worth it. It takes me hours to set up individual OSSC profiles for each console. This you, you plug and play. You basically don't have to do anything. It does the phase, it does the horizontal sync, it does the optimal timings, it does all of that automatically. It's nuts. I am doing a casual playthrough of this Emperor CS. Uh, we're about 20 hours in, so not very far. Maybe you know, in phenomenon speed, a quarter of the way, maybe a third. It looks damn good. It looks damn good. You watch someone do a speed run of this. A good friend of mine speed runs it. Uh, he streams for RPGFan.com. That's such a dope intro. I love it. I love it. It's good. Okay. All right. We're talking about the same guy. Oh yeah, probably, Mr. Skapak. Yeah, he's been hanging out here for years. He's a good people. I like him. He's a good, good friend. Oh, hello. What do you want, mister? Yes, can we help you? Kitty? Can we help you? No? Okay, bye. Mog jumped up here. I'm not sure why. What do you want, Moggy? What do you want, little dude? You want to lay down? You can lay down. I don't know what my cat wants. <laughs> uh. I think he wants to lay down. Yeah, he's laying down. All right. It's fine. Just don't lay on the keyboard, please. You have a habit of doing that. Like, as as all cats do. It's, it's a very strange cat habit. He heard about the raid and wants to show off his DJ skills. Oh, God. He is right next to the mixer. So we're going to have to keep an eye on him. Kitty cat. Hello, little brother. Give him some head pats. 
he's at least getting more comfortable being around me when I'm streaming. For the first, like, several months, he would be nowhere near me. Because I'm loud. And there's lights and computer monitors everywhere. Now he just, he's gotten used to it, I think. I think he's gotten used to it. Kitty Gogo, -Go, exactly. Dun. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> Hold on, let me go here. Uh, we can do 720, 768, 480p. We don't want fill. We don't want over. We want under. Okay. This is what I wanted. The horizontal sampling. We want it to set to this. PS1 Saturn 320. Okay. Yes, that looks much better on my end too. Now if I go here, it should look even better. Thanks for all those follows tonight, folks. A lot of you are just coming on in. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Did I play Chrono Trigger in Secret Mana? Oh yes, absolutely, Chris. Yeah, uh, I played Chrono Trigger a few years back. I want to say it was like three years ago on stream. Um, and I had beat it mm, probably a good dozen times when it came out. It was one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Man, that looks good. That looks so good on stream. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's expensive, but it was worth it. Yes, Mog. Don't you step on that mixer, kitty. It's crispy, it is, yeah. The retro tank does seem to put out a much more vibrant image than the OSSC. So we'll see how this looks to me in dark caves, because some of you who have seen me play with these shades notice that when we're in dark areas and games usually they use like dark blues you know to make it look darker and since this is blue blocking it's almost pitch black to me so we're gonna see how that translates this is quite lengthy all right i want to get into the game let's see how it, the gameplay pans out here Mark, what do you want? I don't know. <laughs> Kitten. Kitten. Okay, bye. <laughs> He's just going everywhere. Already the menus look way better. Initially, whenever we would play this in this menu, you would see jagged edges and bounce from the Bob D interlacing filter in the OSSC. Not the OSSC's fault. It's just how that filter works in general. They use that because it's the fastest. It's the lowest latency. This uses a motion adaptive deinterlacer that actually examines the pixels on the screen each frame in order to properly deinterlace the signal and make it look good. And they manage to do it while keeping the, the latency under a frame of delay. Um, one frame on a game like this being 16.6 repeating milliseconds because it's 60 frames per second. So, you know, multiply that number by 60, you get 1,000 milliseconds or one second. Let's go. If you haven't gotten the chance for Chrono Trigger, but Secret of Mana you have on your PC with an emulator and play it all over again, sometimes one of your faves. I used to play Secret of Mana with my cousins like once a year. They would bring over the Super Nintendo multi-tap and we would play the game start to finish in a weekend, all three of us. That's, that's like the best multiplayer game on Super Nintendo. That or Kirby Superstar, in my opinion. So I did a little character research over the week. And it turns out that Luca here, or Lucia, has some of the worst stats in the game. And we noticed that just looking at her stats. <laughs> like, she's terrible. And I noticed that, like, in combat, I was just like, man... She's just never useful. We're gonna try someone else. Nikki's only slightly better, but her options are very limited right now. Look at how fast that menu was. What the hell? It's out of control. What's up, Mr. What's up? It's out of stock in their website. Ace Guru, it's sold out in 15 minutes. 1,000 units sold out in 15 minutes. 
<laughs> to say that us retro junkies have been waiting for this for a long time is an understatement. They were gone. They were gone quicker than PS5. <laughs> gone. But there should be new ones, I believe, next month. Good ones in stock. How did I manage to get one? I asked my friend Kyo's Little Monster to order it for me because I knew he'd be up at that time and I wouldn't be. I was like, yo, try to get me one. If you do, I'll pay you for it. He's like, all right. Because it went on sale at like 11 a.m. my time. I usually fall asleep 7 or 8 a.m. He usually wakes up around that time. He's like, okay. And he did. He managed to get it. So. Congress bad for a day is good times. You beat RE7. That's such a great game. Do, 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 do. So here are our options. Let's see. We got the Luchador here. Greco. Supposedly Bob here. Bob the Fairy is pretty good. We could try Bob the Fairy. Look at the magic and agility. That's pretty good. Like the magic's already better than Lukia here. We're gonna try Bob. <laughs> What's up, Jim Pansy? So yeah, this it's gonna be about a three hundred dollar device, the Retro Tank 5X. Why? Because there's a worldwide chip shortage. That's why it's so hard to get PS5s. That's why a lot of computer parts are expensive right now. There's literally a worldwide chip shortage right now. So we're just doing the best we can. Give me all of your stuff. We named this fairy who's supposed to be called Razzly. Bob. I think it's amazing. It's a great name. Circular saw. There's a circular saw in RE7. That's hilarious. I didn't get any of the unlockables, I don't think. So yeah, Ace, or anyone interested in Retro Tank 5X, look, look in June. I don't know the exact date because I managed to get one. So obviously I haven't been paying too close attention to that. But yeah, be, there should be more. Brass Rod. Brass Rod, okay. That's actually pretty good. I'll give you a power glove, a super, super silver loop, and a pertish cop. Pertish cop. Oh man, this music just hits every time. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, Chris and Conquer. Yeah, <laughs> that game is amazing. All right, so Bob here is going to have really weak attack. Really weak defense. So we should put Bob. I don't know if the actual party order matters in this. But let's just assume it is. We'll make we'll put Rockstar Man in the middle there. Bob can chill in the back. Don't know if it matters. We want to see how good Bob is with magic. And Bob should get stats when we fight. Bob should get stats when we fight. Because Bob has not gotten any stats yet. And Bob already has better stats than Luca. Bob's doing all right. <laughs> also, what element is Bob? Green. Oh, great. Okay. Nice. You, you love to see it. Okay, Bob. Do, do, do. What's up, Crunchy Moogle? How are ya? Do, do, do. Green beats yellow in this, so turn yellow. Here you go, Bob. Here you go, Bob. Magnify. We can't use that yet. I don't think so, anyway. I guess technically we could. Do, 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 That's pretty crazy, Viserl. Oh, uh, let's see. Green. We want all the best green stuff for Bob here. Bush Basher. We got a couple Bush Bashers. Arrow Saucers. Bushwhacker. What a name. Bushwhacker. They knew what they were doing. They knew. There you go, Bob. You can you can magma bomb for us. 
Bat eye temporarily decreases foe's attack hit percentage. Don't really see that being useful, but how about a really strong heal? I like that idea. A really strong heal. We give you a cure. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost done doing this. How many folks in chat have played this? You do the same bloodstain would do playthroughs using different spells each time with the infinite MP accessory. Oh, cool. Does this fall in the genre of a Final Fantasy game? Is this physical? Physical? Oh, physical. No, no. Um, unless you mean like the same kind of game genre, JRPG. Then yes, this is a JRPG. Um, but it's not a Final Fantasy game. It's it's a Chrono game. There's two games, well three. One was never translated. There's Chrono Trigger, which was on Super Nintendo. Then there's Radical Dreamers, which was also Super Nintendo, but it was a visual novel and never released in the US. And then there's this, Chrono Cross, which is PlayStation 1. And for those of you curious, I do play hardware only on this channel. So yeah, we are playing the actual discs on a PS1. Um, what do we want to give Bob here? Could give Bob... Yeah, okay. Something useful. Something useful. Maybe turn red? Nah. 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 Photon ray. That could work. Or another cure. I think another cure actually is a good idea. Double cure. I like double cure. Bob is ready to go. Now I have to remember what the hell it was we were doing. <laughs> what were we doing? But yeah, Final Fantasy is J Final Fantasy games are JRPGs. So is this game. Except twelve. Twelve is a JRPG. It's just very different. Twelve is absolutely a JRPG. The only ones that aren't are eleven, fourteen, because those are MMOs. Some people get too hung up on what they think a JRPG is. It generally just means that it's story-centric game with an ensemble cast. Very narrative-focused. Doesn't matter if it's turn-based or not. That's meaningless. That's a gameplay element that really has not much to do with the narrative itself. All right, um, I don't think I can go this way because I think it's blocked off. Let's double check. Yeah, they won't let me through. There is off limits. I can tell you right now, I'm going to try to get myself a, a BVM, PVM. Broadcast video monitor slash professional video monitor. So the stuff they used in uh, either TV stations or, or the stuff they used in hospitals. Some security fields would use them too. Dun, dun. Let's go talk to Lena. I don't think she will join anymore though. I think you have to like do specific things in the beginning to get her to join and we didn't do that. That's honestly fine. Where have you been? You had me worried sick. Yeah, she's just saying that again. That's it. We made her worried. She doesn't like our amulet. You can tell her how it's supposed to get her. I think it has something to do with pissing cat off. But yeah, go ahead. Or kid. Because <coughs> we're well past that point. I don't think we can get her anymore. I think what I need to do now, since I have the Hydra humor is to go back to another world. Bloodstain is a series that has a lot of potential, yeah. 
We have to get back here without recruiting anyone else first. What in the world? I was like, why is that? What's going on with that alert? <laughs> like, Sammy, what'd you do to it? Thank you for 118 minutes towards the new CRT fund. I appreciate that, honestly. You have to tell kid to go away and not get slappy. Okay. That's crazy. Are you sure that's how you do it? None at all? So you just solo the whole game? For like 20 hours? That doesn't seem right. There's gotta be some caveats to that. Sammy. Thank you. Would you like a raisin? How about a date? Thank you, Sammy. For 117 bits. Towards the new CRT fund. It's on your first revisit. Dude, it took me 20 hours to do the first revisit. It ain't that quick. <laughs> uh, I promise you, it takes a long time. There, there must be like a huge branching storyline choice before that that lets you get back here earlier. Yo, what's up, Miss Crazy? I mean, here's what I do know about Lena. She's one of the best characters in the game, mechanically. Her her techniques are beyond OP. Um, thank you, Anonymous, for 69 bits. Sammy's bad at math. Oh, okay. Well, darn. Darn. Oh, right, 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 right. Excuse me. Hydra mashes. Like Lena has like one of her techniques basically re replenishes all of her elements. Your elements you can only use once per battle. She has a technique where she just restores all those uses. And even, I think, sometimes restores the use of the ability that restores all their uses. So she's just nuts, OP. You just spam elements with her. She wants me to visit my own grave again. Feels weird, man. Boop, boop. Do, do. where um the old man is he's the mayor here in this in the original world in another world he's not here at all dun, 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 all right we need to go help kid who's in goldov although her name is not kid in this it's something else i forgot what they named her I forget. We redo raffles for naming rights of every character. And game gadgets are real world. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. What's an in-game gadget? I'm not sure what that means. What does that mean? You confuse me. Such a lively track. I want to go here. I want to go here. In. The main world. In game gadgets or real world. The question is, what are your favorite gadgets? Why? Uh, <laughs> words are hard. How may I help you? Sell me all the things. All of them ever. We have money. We've got a good, healthy amount of money. Gadgets in a game or IRL? What a rough question. 
I mean, currently one of my favorites is this Retro Tank 5X. The OSSC is up there too. No, not games. It's just because then everyone's just going to answer what are their favorite items in games, and that's not even the same question. Do you envy me? Not really. Looks like you don't appreciate mushrooms at all. Never mind. Okay. I'm going to tell you a big secret. Why? I just... Oh, this guy's weird. Yeah, no imaginary gadgets. That's just a different question. It's one we've done like multiple times here. It's just phrased differently. I'm trying to find like teammates. That's the, one of the most fun things about this game is roaming around trying to find who will join you. It's locked. Um. Yeah, I can't go in there. You need a muffin button? What's that mean? What does one do with that? Please join my quest. It happens to be in between dimensions. Exactly, yes. It's true. We, um, we all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so really we're saving not just one world, but two sort of it's complicated. We need your help. Hi Granny. Greeny Granny. I know I missed out on Glenn, but that's fine. That's fine, honestly. Press button free muffin appears. That doesn't exist, does it? Are you talking about a vending machine? So your favorite gadget's a vending machine. I mean, those are pretty useful. Your favorite character in this game is a New Game Plus character, Harl. Gotta be Harl. She does join you at some point, but it's only temporary. Zordon likes vending machines. Honestly, so do I. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool, man. <laughs> I think they're pretty darn cool. Dude, the Magus look alike? You don't need New Game Plus to get him. You can get him on your first try. I had a choice when I came here the first time. I could pick Pierre, Guile, or um, uh, Nikki. And I took Nikki. No, you don't need a New Game Plus to get him. Uh-uh. As far as I know, it's only Harl. They probably told you you had a new game plus because you missed out on him the first time. Whoever told you that. But you can get him on your first try. This guy right here is one of the characters you could choose from. You get here, you just pick one of three characters. Nikki, this guy, Pierre, and Guile. As far as I know, you don't have to do it any sort of requirements whatsoever because one of them is required to get into Viper Manor. They all just do it differently. Take your business up to the counter again. All right. Zippa. Zippa and Zappa. Does Mr. Zerg come from Ratchet and Clank count? No, because it's not real. I already said we're not answering game gadgets because that's just what are your favorite game items? We've already done that question like four times. It's like, nah, different question. <laughs> nah. Do -do 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 Daggers are for a kid. Gloves, swords, picks. Iron rod. I don't have any iron. Dang. Who uses the lure? Oh, uh, okay. You gotta think. Yeah. Go XLR, save you a lot of death space? Yeah. I've heard good things about it. I personally don't like the, the whole software mixing. 
but it's really preference, you know? Like, the amount of equipment that that thing can save you on is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It could not do what I needed to do, but most people, most streamers, in fact, content creators, yeah, definitely. Toilet bowl night lights are a big thing for gadgets. Yeah, I want to say I knew somebody that used to have one. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember it being weird seeing a light come from the toilet bowl. Really strange. Are you sure it's a good idea? Yes, absolutely. It's a wonderful idea. Let's disassemble. See what we can get. Ivory helmets can give us screws. Cultist caps can give us copper and a shiny ember. Huh. I don't think I want to just dis disassemble any of these, honestly. This gives me bone, copper, fur, and feathers. Wow. Number of equipped five. Number stockpiled three. I have eight bronze males. I think we can afford to lose one. Get some copper out of that. Crazy. Oh boy, here goes the par again. Phillips Hue Lights and Assorted Hardware. Tell me about those Hue Lights. What do those do? Table saw, J Rock? Too much fun to cut things on it, including your own fingers. Jazz itself loves a percent games IMO. Like that's a soft is good enough. Japanese for my older. Oh. Thank you. Bot. <laughs> Thank you. That's that's well what we came here to hear. So you know. What in the world? All right, I think we're good on gear for now. The rainbow. She wants rainbow shell. It's with that shield that nobody ever uses this for. The, um, I don't know what that means, to be honest. Oh, for the table saw. Yes. Understood. Understood. We're talking about table saw still. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mr. 10K? How you feeling today? How you feeling? Does anyone have any other questions about our tank? Our retro tank or anything stream related? Or anything? Make me feel useful, damn it. Let's see if we can get Miki to join us yet. Probably not, but I'm going to go talk to her. Going to go talk to her. Feeling comfy? It's good to hear. Miki, Mickey, whatever. She just wants to pack up and hurry out of terminal. Well, then come with. Nope, she's not coming with. Darn it. Redhead. Belly dancer. How do I not invite that character to my party? Like, come on! Good lord. Never not in horny jail, I tell you. Yeah, let's go back. To Goldove. No time to lose! Return to Goldove. Dual serial to USB connector so you can connect to fail over devices at the same time. I wish I understood what that meant. How is my day, evening, night going? Pretty good. This is our first stream with the Tink. Runter Tink 5X. Got some good folks hanging out. 
raid from one of my favorite broadcasters and plenty of awesome people to talk with do, 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 do. rush to the doctor right away okay sure trade you materials for your elements no I'm good I'm good Cutest little Zelda character. You mean this perler? Can gadget include toys? Maybe. Possibly. Let's let's dictionary. Let's see what the googly box thinks a gadget is. So we can just define the question. A small mechanical or electronical device or tool. Especially an ingenious or novel one. What T Turtle shirt is that? Uh, this one. He's playing a PlayStation. <laughs> He's playing PS. Looks like PlayStation 1 because it's gray. He's busy. Don't bother him, right, Meow? Alright. <laughs> uh, the internet? I don't consider the internet a small mechanical or electronic device or tool. But yes, I agree that it is advanced learning and knowledge demonstrably. Demonstrably. Your phone is your easily most used gadget, but you love your Skull Candy Crusher headphones. They have the best bass you've ever heard in an affordable pair of headphones. Oh, cool. She's Link's sister in Wind Waker. Oh, oh, you're talking about Link's sister in Wind Waker. Um, the heck was her name? I don't know. I don't remember. Do do do. I don't think it's Ariel. No, that's not right. Nope. It's Aryl. A R Y L L. Do. Why are we talking about her? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> uh, let's get to the doctor right away. All right, let's do it. Hello. Yeah, I got the, the stuff. Oh, uh, see, dudes. Patient strength is at its limit, man. Without the antidote. Um, you mean this? GBA adapter for the GameCube is nice? Yes, I love it. I use it. I use it with a GC HD Mark II so that the digital out on the GameCube outputs HDMI. And then I have EverDrive for Game Boy Color and GBA. So I get like pixel perfect hardware, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Your phone acts as a watch if a watch counts. I mean, you could just say your phone, right? Do, 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 do. You got one with an owl on it playing the PlayStation saying night night owl on it which your is your gaming preference since you work throughout the afternoon yeah i got you okay i make that makes sense yeah someone put up the emote and you got a flash oh i didn't see the emote okay yeah that'd do it <laughs> that'd do it okay i understand now i missed that context i'm like did we see her somewhere? Yeah. That's uh, Sky So Fly. He's one of my mods. That's, I think it's like one of his bit emotes or something. Can this be Hydra Humor? But how? We will discuss that later. As long as we have this, making antidote will be easier than catching a wave. Catching a wave? Hippie doctor, man. We could save the girl with this. Okay. 
We'll prepare an antidote right away. Nurse, help me with the preparation stat. Oh boy. Who says stat? Do people still stay, say stat? The only time I ever saw people say stat was in like 90s drama shows. Doctors say it? Fair enough. I've been around a lot of doctors. I don't remember ever them saying that, but maybe it's like emergency situations. <clears throat> In emergencies, you probably don't remember very much, do you? Only on ER. Right, that's what I was thinking. Like, I only ever saw it on that show. <laughs> <clears throat> Sad is something you hear in stories more than IRL. That's what I was wondering, yeah. What's up, Motsy? How are you? It's on my co-op stream solo. Nice. That's a good game. It's a pretty good game. I forgot to get myself a drink. I kind of want to get a drink. Kind of want to get a little loose. What'd you think of it, Paul? What'd you think of that game? It was a guest on Solomon's channel last night. Playing It Takes Two. It's a good game. I have no idea where in the world you found this, nor do I know who you really are. But now it's not the time to ask such questions. You've done your part. Now you can leave the rest to me. Okay. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. You hear it around the clinics when the doctor needs things right. Like, hey, when the doctor needs things ASAP. Gotcha. Exactly, physical. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Feeling some, like... Vodka seltzer or something. Cat has you trapped. Send help. No. You've been blessed by Cat this day and you need to appreciate it. <laughs> it was interesting working together to solve problems and puzzle. Yeah. Like that game was just ground up designed for that kind of co-op experience and you could feel it just playing it. I never felt like me being one character versus him being the other made any either one of us disadvantaged. But they were both unique. It's really well balanced. Do, 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 do. Baca seltzers, vodka seltzer, V O D K A, vodka. <laughs> Portal Two is another fun co-op game. Yeah, its co-op mode is actually pretty good. It's already close to nightfall. Is he playing? His guitar, I think. Borderlands 2, also excellent co-op, yes. Yes. Get your nurse wife, you need her booty stat. There you go, see? There you go. That, that works. It's valid. <laughs> uh, a baka seltzer is you, Visceral. That's what it is. <laughs> you are now the baka seltzer. She's past the critical period. There are no signs or complications from the poison. Girls held up well, but only thanks to you dudes, man. You've done the impossible with finding the antidote. I cannot believe it. Vodka seltzer. V-O-D-K-A. Vassero, what ingredients are in a vodka seltzer? Since you are now the inventor of this beverage, you get to decide the ingredients. You get to today here on live TV invent a new drink. <laughs> Dude, you made this bed. You gotta sleep in it now, man. Own this shit. <laughs> you you gotta roll with this. <laughs> uh, Portal 2 co-op is great, Darkens. Yeah, but yeah, you could totally troll each other, which is kind of fun. The Hori Joy-Cons for the Switch are a wonderful gadget. Yeah. I'd show them right now, but my roommate's using them. You can imagine a Baka Seltzer Japanese commercial in your head. Okay, come on. Walk us through it. Let's go. We need to hear this. We need to hear this. Will you speak with her, dude? I will, dude. I'll go speak with her. Has to have Baka... Wa Baka... Wait, what? Baca seltzer? Yeah. Baca wine. What is it? Wait, what? Is that a real thing? 
I'll be in the room next door so you can call me when you need me. And do not forget that even though the poison's gone, she's not completely recovered. I'll catch you later, dude. Hippie doctor. Do you think he, he, he primarily uses homeopathic remedies? I don't think he'd be a doctor very long if he did. Baka wine is what BGG calls the Bacchus wine. Oh. I see. What the hell is Bacchus wine? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, all right, her name's Poob. God damn it. You folks always pick the weirdest names for these characters. That's part of the fun. You get like people who show up, they love this game, and they're like, why is their name Poob? Well, you see, her parents were tripping balls on mushrooms when they birthed her. And then they just did that again when they named her, just with LSD this time, and then she became Poob. Bacchus wine? Bacchus? Bacchus? Oh, she's hitting on us. Oh, my God. You have become bloody handsome while I was out of it. Oh, really? I don't know all the details, but I heard what happened from the dock. Looks like there's been a lot going on while I was asleep. I guess it proves that you can take care of yourself now, eh? I guess. Her name stands for Pooh Bear. Poob. Okay. I'll go with it. I'm gonna roll with it. How'd you get it? E at the other end. I don't know. I don't know. It just happened. Yo, look who it is. You're great. Oh. So I love this music. This game has an amazing soundtrack. Meat Shield, how you been, dude? Alright, everyone, how's the game look on capture tonight? How are we looking? How does it look? One more O. Wait. I think you did it right. I think it was just muted. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me check. No, you did it right. Hold on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. I was wondering why I haven't heard any sound effect. It is one more O. Right? So meaty. <laughs> There it is. Uh, oh, God, another sub. Wow. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Meet you. Thank you for 19 months. And Nigo, 38 months in tier three. Wow. Appreciate it. All right, guy, you did good, mate. Why don't you look cheerful for a change? Yeah. I would have been all right without any antidote at all. Oh, really? Struth? No, I owe you one. All right. She says thanks. She says thank you. We're going to do a wheel spin here soon. Every five subs, folks. We spin that wheelie wheel. Spin that wheelie wheel. Looks gorgeous. Text is clean. It is cleaner, isn't it? That's the one of the things I didn't really notice before. A world different from our own. That is far out, man. That there really is such a thing. You dudes are from this other world, I presume. Far out, man. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's supposed to sound like. I think he's supposed to have a Caribbean accent. Like Jamaican or Barbados or... Well, those are kind of different, but you know what I'm saying? Like generic Caribbean accent that video games and pop culture do. I don't know how to do that, so I just don't read his lines. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be Aussie? I can't do Aussie, so she's Irish. That's just how it is, Van, now. All right? <laughs> I don't know what an Australian accent sounds like. I hear it, and I'm like, that's Australian, but when I try to recreate it in my head, my brain just turns off. So it just doesn't exist until I hear it. <laughs> Which sucks, because I've heard some really cool Australian accents. Does he look like he's been hit in the face with a shovel? Um, I had 
I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, it's Bob. Hold on. We got to do Bob. Remember? I'm from the same world as God, too. Uh, my bad. I forgot. Yeah, we met, we met, we met Bob in the marshes. We met Bob in the marshes. Yeah, if Guy had come and saved me, I would have been in big, big trouble. Good, good, good. Has he been hitting the He does kind of have a flattened nose, doesn't he? Yeah, I could see it. I could see it. Maybe he's just a slender guy, you know? He could just be a very... Wayfish. Lithe. We could say lithe. <laughs> uh... Trying to picture the accent upside down. Very funny, Meat Shield. He doesn't look like Adam Sandler. Mm, I don't know. Uh, maybe. I suppose some things are slightly different. The Hydra Marshers are a good example of this. Otherwise, we would have never found a Hydra in this world. Well, we kind of made him instinct in the other world to save poop. Parallel worlds never to cross each other yet existing alongside one another why shouldn't we think too deeply about this Roku the girl's been safe it's about 300 euros but someone actually made this song into a real music box oh wow crazy good water right now gets you right I can't find an answer to this by thinking about it on my own it's pretty late we've been talking for quite some time the sun's still out let's call it a night one good day's rest should be enough to let her get up and hang 10 oh, hang 10 nobody says that so he's a surfer hippie doctor good good cool <laughs> All right. He's, he's got a lot of uh, hats, we'll say. A lot of rolls. What have we here? I think that's Korcha. No. Roku's sister or something? Oh, no. What is she doing? We did it! What you gonna do, guy? You already found a way back to your own world, right? I'm waiting to get control back so we can do things. <laughs> You could just go back home and live a peaceful life, pretending that nothing ever happened. Yeah, that's true. Little Nicky in the movie, Adam Sandler is Nicky, and the Big Brothers hit him in the face with a shovel. Oh, I've never seen that. <clears throat> I've only seen a few of his movies. And they were all from the 90s, I believe. What have I seen of his? Billy Madison. Um, Happy Gilmore. And then I think one other... The only other one was um, Anger Management. <clears throat> I think those are the only ones of his I've seen. <clears throat> oh, I have seen The Wedding Singer. Yeah. I saw that once. Big Daddy, I don't know what that is. That sounds like a porn flick, though. <laughs> is it really called Big Daddy? Do, do. Oh shit, what do we got here? That was trippy. Yeah, I don't know what Big Daddy is. I have no idea. 
Does it end up taking care of a kid while being an immature? Did he call me the assassin of time? Oh no. Oh no, what's happening? Can I have control? What are you gonna do, guy? Oh, you can choose? Well, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what choice this is. All I know is we need to get Mickey. At this point, everyone else, I don't know if we're gonna get him. We need to get Mickey though. Make sure she's not missable. Yeah, I don't know. I never heard of eight crazy nights either. Mm -mm, I haven't seen those. I've only seen the four of them. I've seen Wedding Singer, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, and Anger Management. And that's it. It was the only ones. What am I going to do? Oh, I don't like this choice. I don't like this choice. Why are you making me choose? Do, 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 do. It's making me choose, chat. All right. It's making me choose. <laughs> ah. Do, do. I think we're going to stay. I think we have unfinished business here. I liked Billy Madison. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna make a choice. We're gonna stick around and help out. I think we're in this, we're mixed up in this now. I won't go back yet. I see, they don't stick around with you a little longer. But don't just slow me down, you hear? Oh, okay. I don't know what happened 10 years ago, but it looks like Viper's Mob has something to do with it. Let's go after him. I need to go bash up that Lynx character and get me hands in the frozen flame, okay. He stole something precious from me. He's taking away my future. How do you do that? Mm. Well, it's cat time. I'll find him no matter what it takes. Wickedy. Why? <laughs> Why? <sighs> 51st dates. Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Roku, I heard that you helped at the search, too. It was nothing. Just make him sound like that. Yeah, well, thanks for nothing, then. <laughs> the sass. Uh... <laughs> One point, I thought we were doomed for sure, but it looks like it's all settled now. All right. All that's left is to take you guys back to Terminal, right? My job ends there. You get a special discount price of 300 gold for the round trip. Sorry, but I need to make a living too. Kitty. Welcome to the cat show, everybody. You're pretty damn shrewd, eh? Shouldn't have thanked you earlier. Hmm? <laughs> What is he, looking for something? Hmm, yeah. Well, the elements I had in me grid are gone. Oh my god, did you remove the elements from me grid? No. Hmm, if it wasn't you, then who did? The only ones looking over you while we were gone are the doc and the nurse. They should be in the room next door, so let's ask them when we head out. The doc should know something. Okay. I hope you're right. Kitty likes the retro tank. Do you like the retro tank, look at you? Huh, Mel, what you doing? Hey, Blondie, if you want your stuff back, I challenge you to catch me. Oh, geez, she's dumb. What is it, dude? Is Mel up to something again? Oh, yeah, same old mischief, but this time she's gone too far. Jeez, that idiot. What's she thinking? I don't get it. I'm sorry about her poop. I'll get the stuff back from her later. So go easy on her, all right? All right. Oh, that's no problem. It ain't anything I'll suffer without anyway. Kitty is laying down now. 
Okay. Let me move hardware so she doesn't lay on hardware. Kitty cat. <sighs> oh, I'd never go to theaters, Chris. Even before the pandemic, it was like once every five years. <laughs> uh, so it's probably never going to happen. I just don't like going out personally. But you can always try to vote them in for our Tuesday movie nights. If you want to join up. Not to be rude, but I don't have time to play around with brats. I got to go chase after Lynx now. Dude, dude. Thanks for the host. Ryu Olsen. What is it, guy? You need those elements. Oh, you're not wrong, but Roku said he'd get them back later. We don't have time to waste. Ain't that right, guy? Come on, mate. Let's go. All right. No, let's go after Mel. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're gonna get your stuff back. All right, if you insist. Okay, then let's go find that brat right away. Time ain't gonna wait for us. That's the plan, Roku. Why don't you help us out a bit? It'll be over a lot quicker that way. Gotcha. Ah, I'm just blown away how quickly you can open menus now. This is great. And she's back in our team. And our team has been completely changed without my consent. <sighs> this is what I deal with every night now. <laughs> You're a brat, kitty. Can you stop blocking the camera? What do you want? You have food. You need a clean litter box. You got water. I don't know what you want. Yo, what's up, Diablo? Swords equal bleach. That's when I saw the dude swinging a sword. I'm like, it's got to be bleach. Has to be. Mickey's Magical Quest Castle of Illusion. Yeah. Is that the same thing? No, there was. it was a Super Nintendo game. There might have been a Mickey game on, on Sega Genesis, but that's not the one I was thinking of. He like you get you could turn into like a firefighter or like a Robin Hood Mickey and they have like different powers which I mean whatever it's Disney who cares but like the the actual gameplay was a Capcom platformer they make good platformers My cousin had that game I used to love playing it out of his house it was so good it was so damn good All right we got to go catch what's her nuts she still got ivory stuff. We need to fix that. Mm. It's gonna tank her evasion. Do I care? Not really. She still has all her uh, accessories. No kidding. Wow. Been thinking about that game a lot lately. It's the Magical Quest. Okay. Somebody get me the actual full title so I can put that on my uh, watch list. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm still blown away by how quickly I can switch menus. Beginning wonder if curing you is the right course of action. Such a ruckus in the clinic interferes with my work, but I guess your antics are proof of your youth, dude. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Check them all off. Do, do, do. All right, let's go talk to people to try to <clears throat> try to uh, get 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 poops elements back, right? Are we caught up now or do I have to do anything else? You're interested in SMT3? Was that, what was that originally on? And are those Devil Summoner? Cause 
on my list, there's four on the PS2. There's SM four SMT games. There's Devil Summoner 1 and 2, and there's Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. <clears throat> you think I'm all caught up? Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, you just have elements. No, thanks. Was there another wheel spin? Uh, have we done three or four? It looks like we should do four. Oh, we need to get a bronze dagger for her. That's actually extremely easy to get. No, don't forge it. I don't want to. No, no, no. Not now. Okay, let's equip that. Twenty attack. Thirty-two. He hits like a damn truck. <laughs> this guy's got twenty-six. So her attack's low, but her everything else is good, from what I recall. Okay. Hello. Alright, he's tired. Sure. Yeah, does anyone know? Did we do three or four wheel spins? Hello, insect guy. There's one more wheel spin as the two people match my gifted. So oh. Right, but my subs don't count towards that number. They never add to it. Doesn't wouldn't be fair for my own subs to add to the the, the wheel spins. It'd be like pay to win for myself. <laughs> it's not happening. Uh Right, the other four do. Right, but... I'm confused. I'm very confused. You and Matsi did a total of four. Right. You have two copies of that game. Oh, okay. Go in the building! That's oh, not the door. I'm confused. Orla. I think you can get her on your team. She hasn't come by here today. Has she done something again? What did she do this time? Did she write graffiti on the walls again? Uh, well, there's nothing big. If she isn't here, that's okay. All right. Oh, she just repeats it. It was at 17 plus four. Okay. Yo, Black Richie Rich, how you doing? Camera's fixed. That's right. We totally repaired it. You had Mario's missing on the pile of sand. Did I piss you off one night or something? You're asking me? <laughs> oh, you can keep that one, but thank you. <laughs> you can hang on to that. I appreciate the thought. Maybe. Have I heard of the six dragons? Yes, I have. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You may not enter the shrine right now. Chief Diarrhea is in prayer. What brings you here, Roku? It's rare to see you come out to this tower. Ah, never mind that. By the way, have you seen Mel around here? We're looking for her right now. No, I haven't seen her today. Have you tried the residential tower? So she hasn't come this way. Thanks for the info. She hasn't come this way. The only place left is the residential tower. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Turning down such a legendary game. I like to play stream bad games, but there's nothing redeemable about that game. It's just an education game with Mario graphics. I think I'd fall asleep playing it. <laughs> 
You found something small to send my way? Oh, really? Huh? Hello, Mel. I see you. Exclamation points. She's heading for the residential tower. We got our corner now. Let's go. Okay. I think it's this way. Legendary. This is the end. There's no place to run. So what are we going to do? If all three of us barge in at once, she's going to escape. There are three exits to this tower. If we each go in through a different exit, there's no escape. It's true. Listen up. Don't you dare let Mel get outside. Leave it to me, bro. All I have to do is block this exit for Mel, right? Yep, I'm counting on you. All right. There are two more left. We'll even end up with some manpower to spare. It's game over, Mel. Oh, man. This is getting heavy. We're cornering his sister? Maybe? I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah. Got her. She's crying now. You idiot. That's what you get for messing with my customers. I gotta forgive you just for crying. That should be enough. We got me stuff back and there's been no harm done. Even so, we have to teach this kid some proper manners. <clears throat> do we have to teach her some manners, chat? What do you think? You never know when she might do it again. Don't worry about such minor stuff. I say it's already forgiven. Let's just leave it at that. Why? We should just do it again. Besides, the little one's got guts to steal from a member of the Radical Dreamers. Hey, don't you call me a little one. I got a name too, you know, it's Mel. Oh, how feisty. So she's got real spirit too. But well, weren't you just crying now? Or were you just faking it? I tell you, she's gonna be a real mean one when she grows up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. What do you mean by that? Whoops, I guess you're still just a little one. Don't worry, just forget it. Oh, I said, don't you call me little one. All right. Hey, are you sure you want to leave it at that? I just don't get you. Oh, well, no use bothering with it now. I can't do their accent. I wish I could. I'll go ahead and wait for you at the docks. Dun, 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 dun. The docks. The docks. <coughs> there. All right. Let's get moving then. Let's. Lettuce. Where's Bob? There's Bob. Bob, you're coming with. I'm taking Bob with. <laughs> Bob the fairy. That won't cause any more mischief, but promise to play with me again. All right. You can get this lady on your team at some point. Do I even chrono? Oh, I chrono the hell out of this cross. I'm telling you, man. <clears throat> what are you thinking of Mass Effect so far, Smoke? And also, is uh, Miranda best girl or is Miranda best girl? Just saying. Call me crazy, but I like the badass bitch style. Works for me. <laughs> Cross is one you never delve too heavily into. Got that mid-late 90s JRPG epicness. Yeah. Honestly, I think one of the most staggering things about this game is we haven't really heard any songs yet that aren't good. Miranda is... Man, dude. <laughs> Listen, all the characters in those games are incredibly well-written, likable, interesting, whatever, right? But... She's my type. <laughs> she thought you'd hate her? Dude, her, she makes such a fucking awesome entrance. She just walks up and guns that guy down. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, she is not fucking around. 
I was already sold. <laughs> I was like, damn. Okay, she knows who's in charge and it's her. <laughs> it's such a badass entrance. Oh, man. But yeah, like, she has amazing character growth in that game. A lot of those characters do. It, you, uh, Somebody told me when you raided that you just did her uh, loyalty mission. So you probably saw some really cool stuff. <clears throat> <clears throat> she came in swinging. You thought she was going to turn on you? I, yeah. I mean, she always seemed to have that, like... You never really knew who she stood with other than herself kind of vibe. But, I mean, depending on what you do really will resolve that question for you. The spacesuit is painted on. <laughs> yeah, that that's the thing. When you do a loyalty mission, they get a new costume unlock, and hers goes from, mmm, pretty nice, to like, it's like, it was just melted onto her skin. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. You're third, dude. Don't worry. I'm the one. That, I'm the warden of Horny Jail. All right, so you're right at home here. <laughs> <clears throat> Jack's type of girl secretly leave the rest of her personality didn't piss off Jack. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, Jack's pretty good character too. I mean, they're all good. I either like Miranda or Kasumi the best though. <clears throat> The titty belt. <laughs> yeah, her outfit is like... She's not going to let anybody in the universe tell her what to wear or what to do. That's Jack. She's she's very likable in that sense. Like, you just have to admire it. You have to. No one in the goddamn universe is going to tell her how to live her life. <laughs> Yeah, Mass Effect is awesome. I like the whole trilogy, honestly. The, the whole thing was great, start to finish. I think I liked 2 the best, maybe. But it was, like, barely, you know, over the other... Like, just barely. At this point, it doesn't really matter anymore. It's one cohesive experience, for the most part. Jack is your favorite? I think, like, if I had a, one favorite character of, like, the, the trilogy, it'd probably be Garrus. The dude is like, he's the guy you go out to the bar with every weekend and then go shooting, like, you know, on the other day or something. Like, that's Garrus. He's just, like, the, the best friend ever. <laughs> he's that guy that goes to bat for you no matter what. It's pretty awesome. But, yeah, Emmy 1 and 2. They're all great characters. Hopefully you get to see most of them, you know, and enjoy your playthrough of it. Hey, using that prime rib. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much. And just as a reminder, folks, there are people here in chat who probably have not played the Mass Effect games or finished them. So we'll, we want to tone down any story discussion if possible, if we have any... As much as I would like to go into that, you know, deep discussion about it, we want to make sure we don't spoil anything for anybody. Dun, 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 All right, let's get, let's get rolling here. <clears throat> Garrus is the only character with an official body pillow. <laughs> Thanks again, Smoke. Enjoy those finny bears and the ad-free experience for the next month, man. Let's go back to Termina. This is goodbye. Roku... Left chip party. All right. I wasn't using them anyway. Wait, what about my fairy? Okay. Come on, Bob. <clears throat> Rex is awesome. Three-sided coin. I used to, I used to love doing this in Mass Effect One. Just just I would do this all the time. Let me see if I can find it because it's a meme. 
It's a meme. Found it. Found it. <laughs> Found From what I heard, it's just like, I don't know. I might someday, but, eh, you know. You know. The game stinks. The chat was great. I like Zelda too, but it's brutal. It's brutal. And there's a lot of design decisions that they made in that game that they never should have. Person who's not played the Mass Effect games right here is playing them when not playing Grotto Cross. Those games are so good. Oh man, I love them. Rex is like one of the first characters you encounter Ryu, so. It's like one of the very first. You get them almost all in the Presidium. Zelda 2 casually is a bit of a nightmare. It's like just a complete lack of conveyance. <clears throat> Alright, let's go see if Miki will join us now. <clears throat> nope. She still won't join us. Man, how do we get her on our team? That's the gal I want on our team. I gotta reallocate all her stuff. Cause the little shit stole it. I tell you what. what we got red, white, and green. So we want turn yellow, turn blue, turn black. Turn yellow, turn blue, turn black are all gonna be useful. <clears throat> Use me. A lot of magma bombs. A lot. What do I have to auto allocate? What do you get? Just lots of randomness, I guess. Upheaval? I guess that's not bad. I don't really want it, though. Ooh, bat eye. Upheaval. Well, they really like upheaval, don't they? How about a high level magma bomb? Bat eye might be useful, but. It Nah. <laughs> but nah. Good. Dungeon Design Review has asked us feeling repetitive and making it too easy to get lost. Town NPCs that are less than helpful with their dialogue? Yeah. I know nothing. You have water. Come into my house. I'm like, man. Cheap. This is the cheapest blowjob I ever got. Crazy. It's, it's Zelda 2. What can I tell you? <laughs> what can I tell you? Uh, let's, where's turn blue? There it is. Never heard of Zelda 2? It's the second Zelda game on NES. The second ever Zelda game. It was not as well liked because it's more of a side-scroller action game than an overhead exploration adventure game like uh, Zelda 1. 
Um. Yeah, this is honestly probably good. I kind of want to give Bat Eye maybe to this character, though. Maybe. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. You can just have 8 million magma bombs. It's fine. You could have Bat Eye instead of Heal plus 2. <clears throat> Now we can put heal right here. There we go. Alright. I like that. Taking a break from packing. You're moving, huh? It was Zelda 2 cart. Me too. Me too. Excuse me. Dun, 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 dun. All right, uh, I think we're ready to rock here. Let's go look around. The only Zelda could be considered JRPG. I would never consider that game a JRPG. It doesn't have that ensemble cast narrative focus that is indicative of an RPG. It just has minor RPG elements in it, but that doesn't make it a JRPG. <clears throat> The gameplay elements aren't what make a game an RPG. It's the design around its story and a narrative that does. They just tend to often have those kinds of elements in them. Oh, wow, Lich. Okay. Well, just remember, I already got Super Mario World. We streamed it, what, last week? Not even a week ago. It was like Saturday. You don't think you got to play it? Not sure how many Zelda games you got to play, but not something or later. Some Game Boy versions, maybe one or no Zelda. Yeah, there's a lot of Zelda games, so it wouldn't be surprising if you missed a bunch of them. There's quite a lot. <clears throat> Poor army might invade. They're moving to Fort Dragonia. Hmm. Oi, right, guy, did you hear that? When I was snoozing away in Goldove, Lynx and his mob hile tailed it out of the manor. The fort's supposedly a ruin built by the extinct Dragonians. I heard they're, they've been all kinds of... There've... There've... Bleh! All kinds of mystic rituals there. Said that the dragon tear was needed for the rituals. Bloody bastards, what are they up to now? Guy, yeah, this is no longer just our problem. If we don't stop these buggers now, they're gonna cause some major hell around here. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's Bob. Hold on. It's Bob. Rennie. Fort Dragonia is on the top of Mount Pyre, southeast of here. It'll be hard to get there by that, so the question now is how we're going to get a boat. It's totally, totally Bob's voice. <clears throat> Blonde raids, a blood red blouse. <clears throat> That sounds like the description of that thief from the Radical Dreamers. And that red bandana. He's just like the ghost Karsh was describing. So what? You want to take us on or something? Sorry, Dari, but we're in a bit of a rush to that Fort Dragonia of yours. What business do you have at the fort? That makes me even more suspicious. I will draw my sword if needs be. <clears throat> it's Bob. Bob the Fairy. You know? Such catchy music. I'm telling you what. <clears throat> Your brother would never have drawn a sword in such circumstance. Dang, shaming him. 
Leave my brother out of this. All right, don't you get your knickers in a knot. I don't care if you draw your sword or what, but I ain't stopping for you. Okay. All right, forgive me for my rash behavior. Come to think of it, I really have no interest in who you are. Really, I only want to know the truth of what is happening here. I shall follow my own way and find the truth. Never get him in your team. If you intend to go to the fort, I would offer you a word of advice. When you get on your boat, first head north, then east. You should find a small island there. Where a tired dragoon now lives there. Find him and ask for his advice. There are many frightful rumors about that fort, you know? You never know what to expect there. <clears throat> Bob. It's Bob. This game is good music, I'm telling you what. Na, 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 na. Well, let's see. Why didn't dude join me? Let me go talk to, uh, Korcha, right? We need a boat. So we'll go talk to Korcha. Reporting live from your new house. After a day of intense moving and lots of pain, you can report all as well. Oh man, you actually did it. And you have internets. You guys need to cross the sea, and I might just might think about landing in my boat. Two conditions. And hey, with that clunky boat of yours, I don't think we're gonna survive a round trip. But I guess this ain't the time to be picky. So Roku, what are your conditions? First, if you ever find the dragon tear, give it to me. The other condition is, once all this ruckus is over, uh, I want you to... Um, what was that? Stop mumbling and speak up. I can't hear you. I, uh, I want you to be my wife. What the f... Huh? What did you just say? I said I want you to be my wife. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roker, don't mess with me. I'm gonna kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moons. <laughs> I'm not joking. To tell you the truth, I, uh, that it, it was love at first sight. Oh my God. Ah, uh, uh, you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, you're some kind of thief, ain't you? Don't you worry, I don't care about your past and I don't want you to feel forced. We can wait until all this fuss is over, so please, what? What in the hell? Refuse. <laughs> she just kicked me. <laughs> this is none of your business. It's my own problem. <laughs> okay, understood. But this ain't something I can agree to on a whim. I'll consider it. Until I settle the score with links, that is. Uh, that's about the best I could promise. I can't guarantee anything more. Oh, man. I mean, he kind of earned that kick, though. He's, like, trying to butt in. Like, make the decision for her. Boom! Just boots him right in his stomach. <clears throat> Alright, we get a boat. What was that Glenn guy saying earlier? Yeah, let's go find the old man. You're carrying my wife to be? You want me to come with you? Sure. Okay, he's on our team again. Strange. No, he's not coming with. <laughs> he's not coming with. He's gonna be heading home. Okay, how are you gonna get there without a boat? It just, okay, he's gonna swim. Across the ocean. Good. <clears throat> Good. Let's go see if he makes it. What do you think? Grumpy Bulba with a tier three. The 
the grumpiest of bobas. Pie stare. Pie stare. He's very grumpy, everyone. Thank you, man. Show some love for a tier three sub. Sky Dragon Isle. That's not where I want to go. We can explore now. It's great. Mm -hmm. Oh. Where is he? I don't know. Who's that? It's just an NPC. I didn't die. <laughs> when? When did I die? <clears throat> there. Ah. <laughs> uh... Thank you for $10.10. Right after a tier three sub, you mad lad. Xenoblade Chronicles is getting some real love, man. <clears throat> Come on, you have... The character has a portrait and a name that usually means they join you. It's really hard to get. A lot of these characters to join you though. Lol, I died. I didn't die though. We haven't even done a single fight yet tonight. <laughs> uh. Do 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 do. De -de 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 -de. What about you, Orla? You come with? Feel she just tells me to relax. Then tells me to relax twice. Three times. Three three times the relaxation. Lol, I died. I didn't. She she didn't die. Let's go up. Where's Korcha? He's probably in his house, to be honest. Let's see if the 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 shaman shaman actually no he's never over there he's never over there Stina I think her name is nope not in there there was a cat in there Do -do. you're exhausted what were you doing today Monty you ran like a 37 kilometer race and then won a hot dog eating contest and won with the royal flush and poker before lunchtime. That's what he did. No idea? Fair enough. There's Roku. It's his favorite boat. Do you need something? Not really. Let's go talk to his sister. Do 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 do. Oh, Blondie, I have something I wanted to discuss with you. <clears throat> you need to talk to me. Go ahead, speak up. Uh, Mel would like to speak to you in private, if possible. She speaks in the third person. All right. Good. Uh, 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 okay. <coughs> Please take Mel with you. Goldovian Stitch. Oh, it's a new frame. Looks like a carpet. We get to name a character. This is a one minute raffle. Were you awesome? What's up? <clears throat> How are you? 
Thank you for the gift sub to the other Ryu. <laughs> all right, here you go. Thank you for all the gift subs tonight. The raffle to name Mel is open. Six characters. You got one minute to enter. Exclamation point. Emmy to enter. What do you want to name Mel? What's it going to be? If you win, you get to name her. Man, nobody wants to name this kid. <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck? Nobody? All right. Bueller. 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 Wow. All right. Crazy. Usually there's like a lot more people. Do, 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 do. Oops. Change name. There we go. You like your odds? They're pretty good, yeah. <clears throat> do, 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 do. All right. Three people. That is probably the lowest amount we've ever had. There we go. Rhea Wilson wins every giveaway. <laughs> Have you won a naming right already? Ray? Okay. Is it Ray or Re? How do you say that? Poor Racco. Poor Racco. You're gonna go with Dork. Oh man. Let's look at her stats. There she is. Wow, those are terrible. Ooh. Ooh, she's bad. She's bad. She's really bad. <laughs> You're going to name her O-O-B-S. Yeah, you got to stay behind. Re Ray. How do you say that? Is it Ray? Or is it something else? All right, let's go explore the world. That's really cool that we can do that now. Recruit and then just ditch him. Like, can I go with you? Yeah, sure. And then you're like, when do we leave? Well, we'll get back to you. Just hang tight. Like six months later, just still hanging out in a room. <laughs> Like Ray? Okay. That makes sense. Now, in the boat, hopefully it lets me save because we haven't actually saved yet. This is our first time saving tonight. That's not good. That's not good. There we go. My clock was being blocked. Yeah, I would have told you no, man. She's like eight years old. We're not going to name an eight-year-old boobs. You would have been hard vetoed on that shit. That's just a big no-no. <laughs> She's like fucking eight years old. Sky Dragon Isle Shore. Let's check it out. No music, but it is pretty. It's got the pre-rendered backgrounds. This, this is what Smoke Oak was talking about. That 90s JRPG goodness. This pre-rendered background style. It's so damn cool. Rie? Rie? Really? No kidding. It's actually the name of your sister from Japan. No kidding. Okay. Rie. I will try to remember that. <laughs> it's considered taboo to come near it. There's no such thing as taboo for the adventurous spirit. Oh my god. 
get uh, miss me with that as I just continue to explore. Hundred years before humans from the continent came here, the Dragonians and Demi-Humans still existed in great numbers. Ooh. Still Demi-Humans roaming around, but no Dragonians. Yeah, no, I still would have said no, dude. That's just, we're, no, we're not even going to like broach that kind of thing when it comes to somebody who's eight years old. It's just kind of gross. <clears throat> oh my God, this is so pretty. Wow. Nice ambient sound here, too. Listen to that. You could even hear bugs. Dude, this is like noise people fall asleep to you turn on like a noise generator that's like this just fall asleep <laughs> does this sound great mm. man they really pull out the stops in the production quality of this game wave ASMR yeah it's really cool Rie, Rie. Your family hosted her older sister as an exchange student. And when the older sister came back to visit and brought her children, her younger sister came too, so you met her as well. Oh, that's cool, man. I'm like being continually impressed by this game. The level of quality that it seems to be putting forth. <clears throat> These are the kind of details you would miss out on back in the day. Due to poor TV speakers, you know, low quality audio video cables using RF or composite video, you know, RF. Oh man. <clears throat> was just renaming the phone. I understand, but yeah, just like, think about it. How old is this character plus that name? There you go. You, that was 2,000 Popcats. Very good. Very good. Very good. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Microphone, you stay there. Do, 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 do. Ah, you're a little late, Chris. Sorry. Gaia's Naval. The name is familiar. Why is that name so familiar? Why is the text purple? I don't know. Looks cool. Water Dragon Isle. Take a look. Cheap, like cheap cheeps. Cheap cheeps saw uh, the the fish from Mario, right? Nico Robin from One Piece, your favorite anime and character. You know, I've never seen One Piece. <clears throat> See me spam that hurts your hands. It takes literally any input. So you just like mash the keyboard. <laughs> it was in Secret of Mana. That's it. That's where I remember it from. Secret of Mana. This game has such good music. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, that was an NPC. All right, let's fight. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some stats for Bob. Boom, boom. What do we got? Scorpiod. It's blue, so Poob should be able to do some good damage to it. Maybe. 22. Don't you hit Bob. That's just rude. Nobody hits Bob. Oh, 
All right, Bob. What do you got first, Bob? <laughs> Bob Star. Let's do a Bob Star. <laughs> yeah, Delph, if I mash it so fast, it breaks. Like, it still counts, but it stops animating. <laughs> Oh, nice, Belvin. That game was amazing. City Sidelines is so relaxing. Bob Star. I love that the name of the ability is named after the character. So if we kept it Razzly, it would have been Razzly Star, but it's Bob Star. <laughs> That's so good. It's so dumb. I love it. Those aren't too bad. <laughs> Ooh, Poop got three. One hit point, Bob. Come on, you can do better. You can do better than Bob. I love that the uh, combat victory music is Luca's theme from Chrono Trigger. <clears throat> music. He always named the fairy Pop, so the skill turned into Pop Star. Nice. I like it. I like the cut of your jib. <clears throat> Two Scarpiates this time. Hey, trying to do elements here. <clears throat> you leave Bob alone. There you go. Level four magma bomb. Not bad. It was not bad at all. <clears throat> Yo. Let Bob finish her turn. Alright. Let Bob finish her turn. Bob did the same damage with a level 2 magma bomb with the wrong element versus Poob's level 4 magma bomb with the right element. Bob is strong magic. Bob has strong magic. We're starting to like Bob here. Oh, I forgot to turn on dynamic camera. <clears throat> Magma Bob, nice. Idle Star, yeah, that could have worked too. Bob's just getting hit points so far. <clears throat> Bob, we want you to get like magic. That'd be nice. Magic primarily. Do, 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 do. You're a wizard, Bob. Is Bob a wizard? Scoot up. I want to be a little more in mid frame. That's better. <clears throat> what do we got? Oh, iron. That's our first iron. Holy crap. I'm so glad I went here. We can make a really good weapon for, um, <clears throat> for, um, for Guy. We can make him an even stronger weapon. The guy who's already doing crazy damage with his weapon, give him a better weapon. It's going to be a huge benefit. Such good music. What do you folks think of the soundtrack? Oh, I thought that was a ladder. All 
Alright, so let's try to figure out how to get up to that treasure there. Oh, there's a ladder right there. Problem solved. More iron. Oh, we went the right way. <laughs> RPG 101. If you know the right way to go for story progression, never go that way. Because all the other ways will lead to treasure. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh, I wonder how I get over there. Oh, I just walk. On this thing at the dried up waterfall. It's kind of creepy, so I'll give it to you for free. All right, what do you need to give me? Sturdy ribs. Oh, that's for the skeleton. I had a pretty good physique. I ever tell you did acrobatics? Hey, that's right. I used to be a clown in the circus. We have now the angry scapula, the pelvic bone, the sturdy ribs, the good backbone, and the heavy skull. We have five of the pieces. How many do you... All right, if you know the, the answer, you can tell me the amount. Just don't tell me where. How many pieces of the skeleton do you need to put Skelly back together? Does anyone know? Always oh, so you do explore everything? It's one of my favorite things of RPGs. Just exploring. Seeing the sights. Oh, there's fairies here. Hello. Any relation to Bob? Although we can fly, we fairies aren't very strong. And we can't fly too far. These are Rachidactylus fairies. You need six. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that direct answer without extra details. These are Rachidactylus fairies. We I mean, fairies aren't very strong. You know, for your skeleton, you need a pair of leg bones, a pair of arm bones, a spine, a couple of... <laughs> it's a different story if we can catch the wind, but the wind is capricious, just like we are. Oh, okay. One fairy was blown away by a strong wind and has been lost ever since. Oh, well, that's sad. Dear sirs, have you come to this island seeking the dragon god? If so, please turn back now. Due to the abnormal weather conditions, the fountain has run completely dry. Oh. This was the water dragon island and it dried up. <clears throat> Man, Mitsudo is such a good composer. This music. They're born in the, from the morning dewdrops of an aged tree. Man, what a reproductive cycle that is. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> Get out of the way. All right. All right, I am here for the treasures. Please relinquish them unto me. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, Rag? How are you? The bottom of the sea glowed. All right, it does not appear to be any other treasure here. At least not any readily apparent. What are your favorite things to do? All about the new and unknown and getting as much stuff as possible. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh! Look at that, that was well hidden. Some iron tucked in the corner there we found. Very good, very, very good. There's another chest. We seriously got four iron in this place. That's amazing. 
Oh man, we can make some new gear with that. Release your demo. Is it, is it public yet? Like is the page public? Publicly viewable yet? Or is it still waiting approval? All right, let's get out of here. Four iron, just for roaming around. It's on itch. Oh, I thought you said it was on steam, my bad. Ugh. That's a tasty beverage. It's uh, one of Vassurl's, uh Baca, Baca seltzers. Baca Seltzer. Final game will be on Steam. Demos on Edge. Right. Is the Steam page viewable yet? Like early access or wish list or whatever. Gonna have fun on Sunday instead of start starting as a cleric with your Kobol. You'll be reflavoring a druid for it. That first level. Oh, that's yeah. That's the one you were just writing a story for, right? Man, this game has got visuals. It's up to wish list. Put the link in chat. I want to see it. Discovering a well hidden thing like those chests. Yeah, it feels good. It feels like it rewards your curiosity and your ability to recognize details and patterns. That's cool, Belvin. I'm glad that you got that game coming up. I hope it's a good one, man. I hope you enjoy yourself with it. What's this mist? Thick fog makes visibility near zero. Pull back for now. I'm not ready for whatever that is. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. We can go to Arnie Village. We can go to Termina. Viper Manor Bluffs. That's different. We could go to Earth Dragon Isle. Ah, <clears throat> oh, it feels good to be able to explore. Boom, boom, boom. Steam. Yes, steam. I don't really pay too much attention to itch. It's good. Itch is great, but it's you, their UI is a mess. Isle of the Damned. Oh, that sounds fun. Hermit's Hideaway. That's where she wanted us to go. Check it out. Did we find a secret? Did we just find a secret? Fenrir's Prelude. Ah, it's the RPG Maker. Dun, 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 dun. I'll have to keep an eye on this. See if it's good. We shall see. We shall see. I'm just, I'm fucking with you. Don't mind me. Brum, brum, brum. By the way, folks, I posted that thread yesterday. Well, technically this morning at six in the morning. About my, uh, retro tink versus OSSC scaling comparison that's it right there uh if you're curious how those two stack up against each other feel free to take a look at that mana hero at least it'll be a good sleep this game has such a variety of relaxing music versus exciting music compelling music <clears throat> I want to live in this house as long as this fiber internet and Amazon delivers. It's really dark though. It's my monitor. <laughs> Shit. This is going to be a problem in dark areas. I don't think I can crank the brightness on this. <clears throat> we will look at the OBS preview window for now until I can get a better TV. Hello. And you are? 
Hello? It's more or less your fault we demi-humans are condemned. Oh, I'm sorry. There were a lot more of us when I was a kid. We used to live south of Arnie Village. We used to go play at Divine Dragon Falls. I wonder if it's still there. It is still there. It is still there. I wonder who this guy is. This is weird. This is really weird. We got a nice place though. It's got a nice place. I, I guess there's nothing we can do here right now, huh? Ba -da boom boom boom. Alright, I'm not really sure what that was about. <clears throat> Interesting, but kind of confusing. But it did teach us there are hidden spots in the map that don't have a text label. So you kind of behooves you to just button mash when exploring. Like just seriously smash the button. Find as much as you can. You got your PC hooked up to your TV. And your dresser in front of your bed. Yeah, I hooked my PC up to my my big screen as well. This is a really good track too. I don't think we've heard this one yet. Oh, I want that. Can I get climb this fine? No. I wonder how I get that. There are treasures here we never got. Like that one. A tablet. Joy. <laughs> That's seriously what we're here for. A tablet. Oh, wow, that's going to be hard to time. <clears throat> nice. Drop down, probably, yeah. That's what it's looking like. Gobbledygook. I think is their name. Gobbledygook is legitimately their name. <clears throat> Get him, Bob. <laughs> Hit him with a stick. Bob, your stat growths are disappointing us. I'm telling you. How do I get down there? Huh. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay. The turtle has to ask Is Bob my uncle? No. I don't have any uncles named Bob that I know about. What about you? Lock nest? Oh my god. Lock nest. Lock nest.
Your uncle is named Bob? Nice. <laughs> Damn it, Bob. Stop getting just one hit point. <laughs> it's not going to work out. Sorry. A little bit. A little sorry. Not really. A little bit. Lock Nest. What's the enemy's name? Lock Nest. Doom. Gotta go back down. There's a chest there. You say gobbledygook all the time when you're trying, failing to remember something. I mean, it's a good filler word because it itself means as little as what you're trying to say when you can't remember it. Do 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Bob got no stats. Feels bad. Bob, you need to do more. You need to start carrying your wet. Bob's actually pretty decent, but. How in the heck do you get down there? Somebody go find Bob, un Uncle Bob. Ask him how to get down there. Meteorite. Is that an element? Probably. I think it's an element. It is an element. Okay. It's a level two white spell. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Family friendly swear word. Yeah, that's true. Boy, there's treasures I don't know how to get. Give me the treasure. Huh. Color me confused. Oh, I see something. Did you see it, chat? Did you see it? Because I saw it. Check this out. Look at that. That's sneaky. Just under the surface of the water. A spot you can walk. The Gamaly Googler was a guy in a chicken suit who wrestled in the WWF. I think the word existed before him, though. I think. But also, that's amazing. <laughs> it's also amazing, Belvin. <laughs> uh, there it is. There it is. Photon Ray. That might actually be good. Oh, no, raise level one. I thought that might have been like a higher level photon. It's the same. Okay. Okie dokie. This is probably the way you would have used to sneak into uh, Viper Manor if you had taken... Um, Korcha? Korcha's path? Like, I think you had the option of having Korcha sneak you in through the back, which would have been here. <clears throat> GT Beakerman, you had two Uncle Bobs. There's a lot of Uncle Bob relations going on around here. It's pretty amazing. Bumble <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Bob. Let's see. This is green element. All right. Blow it up, Bob. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it, Beakerman. I did. 
This is Guile's path, Felitra. Ah, oh, okay. Were they cool bops, though, Beaker? Were they cool bops? Or is it like one of those, well, you know, they're gone now. Because you get that sometimes. You know, sometimes it's like, man, they were cool. A lot of good memories with them. Or it's like, well, didn't really know them that well. Or it could be even worse. I fell. <laughs> I fell down. I apparently took that path, Felitra. Not intentionally. They both are pretty cool, great sense of humor. And it sounds like you got a lot of great memories of them that carry on with you. It's cool, man. Oh, I fell. This is tough to time. Go, 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 Okay. Hey. Yes, Lickety. Yes, Kitty. Are you gonna put new holes in my legs again? You're really good at that, you know that? I bet she wants treats. I bet you. I bet you she wants them. You need to play this game sometime? You know they still sell this on their store? Square Enix still sells still sells it stop clawing me you want to come up you jump you don't hoist yourself and put holes in my legs I really don't want to bleed today kitty come here nope alright you can't jump you can't come up well we have multiple choices here let's go this way awesome game says nehemius nehemius is that right yes i agree i think this game is excellent i think it is underrated even understandably so because people compare this to chrono trigger and for those of us that have played chrono trigger or know about it well enough we understand that nothing compares to Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Literally nothing. So a lot of people were a little disheartened by it. I am liking the Retro Tank 5X quite a bit, yeah. Um, I mean, look at it. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you my OSSC actually does look better than this a little bit. But it's almost imperceptible. Um, and apparently they're going to be fixing that with a firmware update. But really, it's the fact that... One, it deinterlaces. It's probably got the best deinterlacer in the market right now. So PS2 games are all going to look amazing when I play them. And two, it's got that triple buffering so I can swap resolutions almost instantly now. And this game swaps resolutions when you go into the menu. It's 240p right now during gameplay, but when I go into the menu, it's 480 interlaced. So this has got the deinterlacer and the triple buffering, which set it above the OSSC in terms of usefulness and user-friendly um, setup. Like anybody can buy this, Plug your stuff in and go, and it's going to look great. You can't do that with the OSSC. It'll look good on the OSSC with its default uh, settings, but it still requires setup. I didn't have to install any firmware on this. I didn't have to set up any profiles. Um, I didn't have to set, hor you know, I didn't have to set phase. I didn't have to set horizontal sync length. I didn't have to pick optimal timings. Like I didn't have to do any of that. I just plugged the game in and set it to like um, the right resolution. And then I chose, um, uh, chose PS1, um, I think it's called scale. I don't know, I don't know the exact name of the setting. 
but it, it, it has like minor presets for specific consoles. No perceptible latency? No. It's less than a frame, just like the OSSC. I think it's slightly more, like the OSSC is like four milliseconds and this one's like 10-ish, but one frame is 16.6 .6 milliseconds out of 60 frames per second, right? You're not gonna notice that difference. You're just not. Nobody is going to notice that difference. So no, there's no latency whatsoever. This thing is lag free, just like OSSC is. <clears throat> Oh, it's just he was a pain, just like the Frame Meister. I never had a Frame Meister, but I heard that that's was a bear to set up as well. I mean, the Frame Meister is effectively dead. It has been for years. They stopped making it a few years ago. It had definite latency on it. Um, it did some things really well, but it was it's a 10 year old device at this point. It came out in like 2011 and they don't make it no more. The Firebrand X profiles. I use those as a template, but I almost always tweak them for my own consoles to look even better than those. Because I, I've filled up. I have. There's. On my firmware in the OSSC, you can have up to 15 profiles. I used every single one for various console use cases. And that kind of setup took a long time to learn how to do and do. Um. I was going to look at something. Okay. Yeah, this. This is literally changing resolution whenever I do this. It's instant. <laughs> like every once in a while, you can see it. You can see the resolution change on like one frame. Like just a little hiccup. The OSC, OSSC cannot do this. Capture cards can't even do this. This is nuts. <laughs> Normal capture cards can't do this. <laughs> and on the OSSC, if you folks can remember watching my previous streams of this, the menus always looked fuzzy and it would bounce a little bit, you know? Remember? Like it just because that was the Bob D interlacing. It's meant for speed, not aesthetics. But this was motion adaptive was coded so well. It, I, I f would struggle to see why anyone would ever use anything other than this for DNR lacing. It's just, this is 480 interlaced right now. This is a DNR laced video signal and it looks amazing. <clears throat> What you doing, kitty? You wanna say hi? Boom. Hmm, where to go? Let's try this way. You have it as well. I am keeping my OSSC, personally. Oh, you got the GBS CAO, nice. I'm definitely keeping the OSSC. There are situations where I would use it over the Retro Tink 5X right now. Um, <clears throat> most notably Dreamcast, because that's VGA. The Retro Tink 5X does not do VGA. It will eventually with some kind of converter and a firmware update, supposedly. Now, Bob, Bob needs to get some action here, all right? Let's get some Bob action going on here. The DC Digital. I just, I just do native usually for my consoles up to SCART. Like some of them are, um, what do you call it? Modded for RGB. Do, 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 do. But Dreamcast and VGA looks amazing. Looks really, really good. <laughs> it looks really good. I did a stream of Sonic Adventure like in March. Oh man. It was another one of those times where people thought I was emulating. What emulator are you using? Uh, it's called a Dreamcast. <laughs> and I'd show them a controller. 
But yeah, this is an actual Dreamcast. It can look this good. It's possible, I promise. <laughs> Most of these consoles actually can look this good. Cloaked Alien, what's up, man? We we're just talking about the Tink. There's another friend of ours that got a retro Tink 5X. Except he's in Sweden, so he had to pay all these, like, VAT taxes and crap. Oh, man, I feel so bad. Import fees and, like, VAT tax. Ugh. Ugh, dude. No. <laughs> Yeah, Dreamcast VJ is lovely. Uh, other times I would use the OSSC over this. Probably when I use it. I think I would, I don't know. I'd have to test more consoles, but initially I'm still thinking I would use it for Genesis, Saturn, um, PS1 games that don't resolution swap. Um, and maybe that's it. Oh, dang, that's hard. 95. That's actually less than you thought. You said it was could have been up to 200, so at least that's, you know, there's that. Ha! Ha ha ha! All right, we got the treasure. PC Engine? I got to get one of those still. Free Fall? What is that? We got something new. Level 5 black element all foes set trap to catch free fall element. I have no idea what that means. Huh. Yeah, I want to get one of those PC engines slash turbo duos because there's tons of J JRPGs that have fan translations out there that I want to play. Chrono Crash, what's up? Great game choice. Oh, I wonder where you got your name from. <laughs> uh, hmm, it's a mystery. I think we've seen legitimately three people in chat tonight that had their name Chrono. <laughs> like the word Chrono in their name. Uh, I think this is the wrong way. Tis. Tis the wrong way. So we're playing the E series. Those are good games. My cat is hanging out. What you doing, kitty cat? She's laying on the desk. Look at the cats laying on the desk today. Oh. Go down the bluffs. Oh, oh, that's what that was all about. Okay. Well, I need my boat. But we got the treasure. We got the treasure, and that's all that mattered. Oh, darn. I thought that would knock me down further. Tropical smoothie? That sounds good, man. My throat's feeling a little raw today. Just a little bit. Probably didn't get enough rest this week. I did an extra six hours on cam this week. Because I was guesting on Solomon's channel yesterday. What's new with you, Chrono Crash? What is new with you? Tell us about your day. Well, I met my bomb, the Loch Ness. So far, I like Bob. Bob seems useful.
It's getting to be that weather here in the Chicago area where smoothies, like frozen smoothies, sound freaking awesome right now. Just like that, like full of different fruits. Bananas, blueberries, strawberries. That'd be good stuff. <laughs> That'd be really good. Get him, Bob. Bob's doing doing all right for themselves. Where's my cursor? That was really weird. My cursor wasn't appearing. That was odd. Strawberry, pineapple, white chocolate, coconut. Yeah, I would like that. I like coconut a lot. HP and resistance. HP and strength. Come on, Bob. Come on. Oh, that's a sick level for Bob. HP, strength, resistance, and magic. All right. <laughs> Get him, Bob. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Thanks for all the follows today, everybody. Welcome all you new folks. Hope you're enjoying your time here. Checking out this uh, awesome game on this awesome upscaler. Playing on my PS1 with a PS2 controller because I don't actually own a PS1 controller, but this is fine. I actually want to get another one of these. This is my original PS2 controller from 03. Get on the boat. The banana boat. We're going to save. We're going to explore the world some more. Currently doing some world exploration for the first time. Kiwi, strawberry, and yogurt. Dude, that would be really good. I wouldn't mind, like, making smoothies with the cleanup. I don't know. Every time I've tried to make a smoothie, and maybe I'm just... Okay, it's not a maybe, but I, it is. It's true. I'm incompetent in the kitchen. <laughs> like, it's been an absolute hassle to clean up. Like, it's just... Ugh. So it's just don't do it. Earth Dragon Isle. Okay. Gaia's Navel. We gotta go hire the sprite from the dwarves. Right? Oh, wait, wrong game. Marble. Uh, uh, uh. This is where Nikki's from, right? Or something? Marble. Boom, 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 boom. All right, well, we could go to Marble. Get a bullet blender. I don't know what that means. Sea of Eden. Interesting. What about this thing? This looks like it's important. We can't do anything with it. But it does look importante. Your mom makes a liter or two of smoothies once or twice a month. Nice. It's pretty awesome. Let's see, Hermit's Hideaway. The Isle of the Dead. Or marble. I think marble. Feeling marble right now. Yeah, what's a bullet blender? I never heard of that, Matthews. Ed Edumacate us. Hi, like kitty kitty. She's just loafing on our on the desk right now. Wait, why I went there? No, go here. Stop it. <laughs> go here. <laughs> Stupid transition. Check out this loaf. Check out this loaf. Oops. You just got a cat loaf. <laughs> See, now she knows we're looking. Go ahead. You can loaf. You can loaf. 
we continue to loaf. It's a cat loaf. What's up, Moncappy? How you been? Brand of blender that is single serve. I see. Yeah. You enjoying the, the desk? I don't know if there's like a breeze over here or something. I do have my fan on back there. That feel good? That feel good? Yeah? She's having a rough day. <laughs> Having a real rough day, aren't you? Getting all this attention. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> uh, cat channel. I don't even know what that would be. There's nowhere really to put anything for that. Not without violating privacy. <sighs> cool room, thank you. I did take a lot of time to uh, set it up. I wanted something that would help me feel more creative in my space, since this is what I do for a living. It's what I do. Maburu. Maburu. Teleporter. Okay, I can ditch poob. If I wanted to. Yours is a mess. Mine is a mess behind the wall. <laughs> behind the divider. Do -do 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 -do. Get out, humans! Ow, they're a rock at me. What the fuck, man? Nothing to say to you, humans. All right. What is it, human? What are you doing here? The humans are an ill omen. This dates back 14 years when I was informed humans were on their way to Marble. That day I witnessed the most terrifying storm I've ever seen. These humans never showed up. I was sure they were swallowed by the storm. Over that very day, I heard a rumor. Someone has made his way through the pearly gates. Okay. Humans are bad luck! Wow. Do, 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 do. They want me to leave. This is me not leaving. This is me looking for treasure. Bullet blender. Post the link in food and beverage. Okay. The sea is having a dream, a deep blue dream. We're all a part of this dream the sea is having. And that flame is waiting for the chosen one. Huh. Anyone who touches that flame will become a different being. Wow. Oh, that's some foreshadowing. So, without me having to look at a link right now, what is a bullet blender? It's a brand of blender with single serve. Why is that something better than a normal blender, for example? What's the difference other than size? A lot of them look, just won't talk. They'll just, they're just straight up refusing to talk to me. Neo Gunner's a meat popsicle, everyone. If you didn't know. Stay away from me. I'm... <gasps> that is a big chill. Stay away, I don't want to talk to you, but... Okay, you don't have to. It's fine. Ba, ba, ba. That looks like a giant rainbow shell. I don't know what those things are. Do, 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 do. Is an air fryer a gadget? Sure. You bake, you drink the smoothie right out of the container you blend it in. 
It's not needing to clean the picture of a normal blender. Hmm. That does sound good. I guess. Perhaps. I'd have to use one and see. Do 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 do. Oh, I thought that was an exit to a further area. How do I go in that water? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. I wanted to talk to that person in the water. Let me advise you, many in our village, to test humans. If there's something you wish to know, I may be able to help. Only on the condition you leave soon. <clears throat> Tell me about the Sea of Eden. Poisonous leaves that cause instant death surround it. Time is reversed in there. Oh man. Huh. And there's a black dragon in this village. This place is full of wonders. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Favorite gadget has to be your phone. Without it, no internet, work would be a nightmare, etc. I can imagine, dude. <clears throat> Just think how much phones like that have advanced the logistics industry that you work in. It has to be crazy. <laughs> like night and day difference. Ooh. <gasps> it's a Durgan. Oh, it's a big dragon. Look at that thing. Wow. He did say it was asleep. In a permanent dream of some sort. So we seemingly can't do anything with it yet. But that's impressive as hell. Elliot, how's it going, man? Whew. There we go. Alright, I guess we're leaving here. Nothing to see in marble at this time that I can tell. Mm -mm. Who's familiar with this game? Like, knows it well. Who knows this game well? We cannot go to the Sea of Eden. Poisonous plants everywhere. Fairly well, you know it well enough. Well, there's one major thing we cannot skip in this game. I want to make sure that it happens. I don't know if it's optional or not, but that whole like concert with Nikki. That's the thing that I need to do. <laughs> I don't know when you can do it or if it's optional. We're going to save and we're going to try to go in the fog and see what happens. Not at the point where it takes place. Is it optional? Head into the fog. What have I stumbled on?
Well, then. <clears throat> Wow, those ores would just capsize us. This is the ghost ship? Sweet. Let's ransack it. What are we waiting for? Ghosts? Let's go fight some ghosts. This doesn't seem like a ghost ship. It just seems like a ship that can navigate in fog. Oh, it's a pirate ship. Well, okay. <laughs> what have we stumbled on? I forget how non-linear this game is sometimes. You could just like randomly go into these huge side quests. Make way for Captain Fargo. Captain. Ah, I guess seem to be a bit young for one of Link's subordinates. Well, who cares? What do you want from us? That's up to you. But first things first. What is your intention? Question marks. <laughs> Don't be stupid. We know you're trying to get to Mount Pyre. What? We saw General Vipers and Link's ships anchored nearby. You're trying to deliver them a message. Is that it? What? That's a load of bull. We don't work for them. We don't have to get them. Get in our way and I'll kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moon. She likes to say that. Uh, are you serious? Explain yourselves. I guess we're going to explain ourselves. We're after Lynx. Don't you know you're risking your lives? Don't you recognize the danger associated with Lynx? He's a monster, a cold-blooded monster, an incarnation of death. Hmm. I never went to that hermit island. To be frank with you, we've had our share of encounters with Lynx too. Okay. Disguise ourselves as a ghost ship. Yes, we want to face Lynx. Bring out our you-know-what. Oh no. This is a test of strength. Let's go, chat. Let's fight some pirates? Question mark? Or robots. We're fighting robots. Okay. Sure. Damn it. Oh, they're not hitting very hard. In fact, they're barely hitting at all. 73. Oh, man. I think we got the upper hand here. Magma bombs. Let's see how these do. Not the best, but not bad. Where are they? Oh, they're dark element. Okay. Um, no. Do you have any white elements? No. Okay. Then you do your own magma bomb then. Okay. Stronger than poobs, but two levels weaker. Jeez. This dude, I didn't even get his iron one yet. I forgot to do that. Look how hard he hits. What's everyone's favorite gadget? Gadget, real life gadget. That's the question. Smartphone is a good answer. A lot of people have said that one. I understand it. It makes sense. 
Just loosen it up. Time to get serious. Oh, heck. Polly. That's his parrot? What the f- That's a dinosaur. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Maybe I am, though. We're gonna try to steal from it. Shit. Flap. It's flapping. Oh! That was damage. Jesus. Nice. What'd you get? What'd you get, kiddo? A sight scope. I don't know what that is, but I like the sound of it. You need to heal because you almost got one shot, Bob. Bob. Yeah, almost got one shot, Bob. Seventy-nine. Very good. Very good. Dun, dun. Polly, you are a red element, so we need blue magic on you. Or we just have him wail. This is what he does best. Just goes ham. We could turn it blue, but then it would be red and blue. That'd be weird. So, yeah, just hit it. Flap. Please don't kill Bob. Bob is our friend. It's hitting Bob again, isn't it? Why do you keep hitting Bob? That was not Bob. That was Guy. Never mind. Ooh, I could do turn yellow, and then it would be weak to green. And Bob's green. Bob would hit like a truck with green. Do it. Do it. You? I think you should heal yourself. Defend. We need stamina. Defend. Defend. Nice. I have chosen most wisely. All right, so it is now weak to blue and green. It's time for an arrow saucer. Let's see what happens. Forty. That was alright. Could have been better. Dang it. There you go. Bat eye. Ooh. Decreases foe's attack hit percentage. Do that. Make it miss more. What's up, Crystal Sin? Yeah, we're fighting Sin and the ship. And um, Mother Brain hired Sin to attack us because she was jealous. That Princess Zelda was traveling with us so much. It's, it's really, really quite juvenile. You know? It's unfortunate. Damn, missed that one. Is it fanfic night again? <laughs> you shut. You shut. <laughs> you shut it. Uh. Alright, this melee damage is god awful. Seventy-eight. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. We need a recover all. Average episode of Captain N. You like that story? Thanks, Crystal. It's good. Yeah, it was good. I thought it was good. You know, really worked hard on it. I had to email some authors for a little feedback, but, you know. You gotta, you gotta do your homework. You gotta do your homework. Forty-five. This thing is hard. 
you. We need one, two, four. Don't miss. Thank you. Witch Basher plus one. Let's go. Hopefully this is good damage. That was good damage. Holy shit, Bob. <laughs> All right. Bob with the win. It's fucking walk. Yeah. Yeah. It was very plump. Magma burst. Ooh, that's new. That's we have not seen that yet. I don't think Polly liked that very much. Polly can't stand up against Bob. Ah, uh, stronger one than I expected. You got me blood boiling. I'm next. What? More fighting? Oh my god, okay. Boy, they really like fighting on this this ship. Dun, dun. Jolly ho, up and at him. All right. Up and at them. Up and at him. Up and at them. It's not missing. Don't punch Bob. So rude. There you go. That's where I'm like it. Let's see, your element is blue, you're weak to red. Just don't happen to have somebody with red. But we're gonna try and steal. There we go, Pilfer. Come on. Come on. Yes! What did you get? 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 Did you get? Photon beam. <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> I have like eight of those. Fine, whatever. Fine, God. Turn yellow, please. So he's weak to red and green. Strengthen? Oh, you son of a bitch. Bob's gonna have to cut his accuracy down. He attacked the one guy that was defending. Perfect. Well, let's try Magma Bomb, plus two. He is a blue element. It did 61, that's actually really good. Okay. All right, Bob, here we go. Show the pirate what your fairy ass can do. Oh wait, bad eye. Cut his accuracy. It didn't work. <laughs> As Bob gets cut. Bob gets cut. Jeez. Mount, mount. All right, you are going to heal Bob for us. Heal Bob. There you go. Bob is feeling peachy keen now. Aqua ball. Oh no, that's gonna do a lot of damage. 43, wow, that was a lot weaker than I expected. Much weaker. Let's see, what elements do we wanna do on this guy? More magma bombs? For 60? I don't mind if I do. You folks have favorite characters in this game? Whether from seeing them or from playing it yourself? Push Basher plus one. Here we go. 113. Good God. Bob is good. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you like Glenn? Glenn is really good. I missed out on Glenn, apparently, but I remember him being pretty strong when I played this way back in the day.
We need a heal all here. Shit. Oof, nice dodge. All right, here we go. Bob always needs more HP. Yeah, Bob is definite caster character. Look at that, 95 heal to everyone. That's really pretty solid. Shit. He is slamming her with some really strong magic. Does she have any heals? She does. I think it's time to heal yourself. Dun, dun. Bob Star, let's go. Oh, he's no longer yellow. Shit. No wonder it's doing less damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> that still did a lot. <laughs> yes. Go, Bob. Oh, God. Stop hitting Bob so hard. I don't approve. So wait, if he's blue, he's only weak to red right now. I'm gonna do normal attacks with him. Damn, that last hit would have been nice. I don't know if Bob has any more heals. We're gonna find out. Or he's gonna aqua ball someone. Please don't hit Bob. Please don't hit Bob. I forgot to set revive. Where the hell is my revive element? Somebody has it. Bob has two more cures. Are we poisoned? I think I just noticed that. We have something going on there. Huh. Tough call here. Let's try upheaval here. Forty-five. Yeah, that's smart. I think we won. Yes. <laughs> All right. Feeling really disappointed right now in my shitty questions. I got one person to answer me. I will try to think of better ones. I promise. Meteorite. I already had that. Could have had a better treasure. Not bad, but keep in mind we be pirates. Questions? Faceplant. Guy! The tranquilizer made from jellyfish stingers. Your numbers will sleep for a while. Oh dear. Well. Well, that's that. Stick this light lovers in the hold. Oh man, what have we stumbled into? Man. Interesting. Are you all right, Sky? You don't look so well. Okay. Something going on outside. That it watch ain't easy. I guess not. Do 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 do. Mm, mm. Can't even see the water. That's when you know it's foggy. Wow.
There's a real ghost ship. <laughs> Fourth battle in a row. Well, guy kicks their ass. Sword dance. Oh, man. Let's see if we can steal from him. Crossbones. It's a fake ghost ship you saw them putting on the decals. Makes sense. Still iron. Oh, my God. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. The decals. How's it going, BGG? Iron and bone. Looks like iron is starting to get much com more common. Do do do. Poison and flu. What the hell is flu? I've never seen that status effect. Well, we can cure it with medicine. Interesting. Wonder what it does. Who's got the revive, though? Oh, he's got a new slot. Could do another meteorite. Could do even more meteorites. Proton, photon beam. Ooh, that's actually new. That's not photon ray. Who knows what the heck this free fall thing is? Consumable set trap to catch free fall element. I don't know what that means. How about the decals, Valetra? Yeah, they're all right, I guess. Unless they're retro, then they're good. Eating ribs? Damn, man. Sounds pretty good. Do, do, do. It's just damage. It launches them and they fall. Oh. Boo, boo, boo. Where's my revive element? Somebody has it. Huh. Alright, we need to find out who has it. Who's Rocky? I don't know. Roku. Anyone who's not in the party, I'm just removing everything they have powers flower frank ray there i've removed every element possible there it is somebody still had elements <laughs> but it was nikki <laughs> this whatever this is i don't know what the bg says it's consumable damage thing so i was like okay if the enemy casts a spell, you can trap the element to equip for yourself. Free fall is a single target black level five spell. Oh, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. You cast that if you find out someone is using the spell free fall and then you get a copy of it. Oh, interesting. A shitty way of draw magic from Final Fantasy VIII. Oh no. Oh. No, no, no. All right, this gives us more options here. All right, Bob. Bob. All right, Bob. It's a Bob. You're gonna have revive. Somebody needs revive. Somebody needs it. 
Bob Star. I love that that's called Bob Star. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's amazing. Do do do. I want an Aqua Ball. Ice Blast is f four. Oh wow. Interesting. All right. So those were the ones we were missing. I knew I was missing one. I could get a, someone else to recover all. I could give it to him since he almost never uses elements. Like he could be an emergency AOE heal instead of magma bomb. Like, you know, like whatever, man. Bop, bop, bop. I don't know if I was supposed to go here. I was just exploring the world. They're like, go visit that hermit. Okay, and then I went here instead. Whoops. Whoops. Do do do. I guess I guess we live here now. We just did four fights, three boss battles in a row. So this is our house. Man, I was gonna go like make better weapons too. It's okay. Sight scope. Proves hit percent. Okay. No, no, no. How does it ever compare to the loop? It's better. So we will give it to Bob. Hero shield. One part of the three piece hero collection. Where the hell did I get that? <laughs> I don't know, but we have that now. Uh, yeah, I didn't think he could use it. Razzly Star would be strange if you were named Bob. I love that it changes the name of it if you change the character name. It's a nice little touch. It's a nice little touch. You're a bit ahead of me. Okay. Why is that a shrug? I don't get it. A forest fairy. 11 pounds. Build tiny. Dominant arm unknown. That's the information we need. Everybody's so small. Build ordinary. It's pretty true. Age unknown. I mean, it is a fairy. Could be 200 years old for all we know. So did I sequence break by going to this place? I hope I didn't miss a ton of stuff. Whatever. Let's go. Go ship. Looks like you're all right. I thought you were goddess so when that monster went in. Yeah, keys don't expire. I'm really confused by that. Your windows can expire if you never entered the key in the first place. That's for sure. Boo, boo, boo. It's a corporate issue. They do sometimes expire keys on volume licenses. Well, he doesn't work for a corporation that I know of. <clears throat> what the bloody hell is going on here? Sorry, I don't know either. Before I knew what was going on, I was attacked. He won't stop us. There's a note. Key duty is a big responsibility. You want to help? It's a pre-built? No, I didn't know that. Let's see. Dead beat. Let's fight some dead beats. Oh man, he hits like a truck on these. I guess it makes sense. They're dark and he's light. Oh, whiff. <clears throat> bam, bam, bam. <laughs>
What's up, Sky? How are you, dude? <clears throat> How was your stream? All right, steal. Steal stuff. Hell soul? I think that's an element. If I'm not mistaken. Try magma bomb. Gold 20 is not a fan of anyone, man. They've been having issues for months. Months and months now. Almost daily issues for months. It's been crazy. It's been cut crazy. Dun, dun, dun. Acceptable. Right in the middle, yeah. Damn. All right, we got him. Another 10, it's acceptable. Yeah, it's right in the middle. <laughs> Recover all. Thank you, Bob. Bone, iron, and hell soul. Man, we are getting lots of loot here. I didn't ask for your help. Too bad you got it. Can I go in the door? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Treasure. How'd you guys get out? Get back the hole. This sucker's mine. No. Who's that? Aqua Ball. Arcane. Arcane. Arcane energy. Arcane energy. That's how you say it. I like that. That's cool. That's a cool name. Arcane energy. It's like a portmanteau of arcane and energy. It's neat. That's neat. And you got a, what is that? A, a wolf? A wolf with a heart? That's adorable. I think it's a wolf. Looks like a wolf. It's cool. That's a cool emote. And I can click it and I can hit follow. Do do do. Thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Three shout outs. Okay. Well, wow. you all apparently know that person very well to shout them out three times. <laughs> Just chatting. What were you uh what were you uh doing tonight? What were you doing tonight? <laughs> uh, what was on the agenda? Welcome everyone from Arcane Energy Stream on Phenomenon. We play retro games, RPGs, and a little D&D &D and Zelda games here as well. Hope that sounds good to you. Glad to have you on board. Paying no attention? Yeah, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. What do we steal? Bone, bone, iron. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. Uh, let's do this. Seventy-six. That's pretty rock solid. Polite cat. Yes, polite cat indeed. Took some time off from being live. Finally moved into a new built room and talked about shenanigans. Seen you running any retro tank. Yes. Oh, is it good? Oh, it's good. Very good. Very good. I could take the thing with Jeff, you know. Thanks. So. 
here's one thing that people really like about it, myself included. This game, Epos had a great review of it. Yes, yes. I was talking to him earlier today about it. <clears throat> um, this game does this weird thing where what you're looking at right now is gameplay, which is 240p native resolution. But the menus are 480 interlaced instead. Try to get one today, it was sold out. Uh, when it went on sale, I think it was the 20th. No, it was like, yeah, when was it? I think it was like the, the eighth or something like that. It was a Saturday. It sold out in 15 minutes. Like it was like a thousand units sold out in 15 minutes. So you're going to have to wait till next month. <laughs> I think they got more in stock next month. Uh, but anyway, gameplay it does this weird thing where the resolution changes when you open menus. So normally when that happens with an upscaler and or a capture card, it has to renegotiate and reconnect the HDMI signal, but this uses some triple buffering. So I don't really know what that means or how it works, but in essence, it doesn't lose the connection or the sync. We're finding that only happening with this game. No, there are bunch of other games that do that on N64 um, and PlayStation 1 um, and even some PS2 games do that like the Silent Hill games do that for example but it, as you can see it's like instant like you can see a slight little visual tick but it's instant where I was on like an OSSC this would take one to four seconds usually faster on the capture card than this monitor I'm using frame meister might not even work like it might not even work at all the feeling when one sells out must be amazing and frustrating they were like grinding for weeks to get them all shipped out because they ship them from their like residence as far as I know so they would just take a bunch to a post office every day and mail as many as they possibly could. Which capture card am I running? Datapath E1S. <clears throat> what is an Ovid Arcane? I don't know that word. That's a new one to me. But I first heard about this from a Discord and then like a bunch of other streamers. Like people have been talking about this upscaler who are into retro. Streamers have been talking about this for a long time. It's something we've been waiting for for months and months and months. And the reason is because it was advertised to be able to do those resolution swaps and actually good deinterlacing. That's another thing you may have noticed in the menu. The deinterlacing is motion adaptive deinterlacing and it looks great. It looks supremely good. We need to ship a thousand units of various addresses. Yeah, every and they limit one unit per household. So every single unit they shipped was a different address <laughs> all over the world, not just in the United States. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. So they have been grinding and grinding and grinding to get these out to people. Like, I mean, admirable their diligence, but man, I can just imagine the level of work that takes to do. Oh, it didn't work. Damn. It rarely misses. Get him, Bob. No, don't miss. There we go. Let's Bob star this thing. People are still scalping on this Earl. <laughs> Sucks, but what can you do? They're still doing it. But Mike Chi, who made this device, invented it, coded it, has a lot more being made. So it's going to get to the point where these scalpers really aren't going to have anything 
to scalp because they're going to have stock. You can find one available for scalpel pricing at 750 bucks. Yeah, it's a $300 scaler. Don't pay ever pay more than $300. <laughs> hey, Ugman, how are you? How you doing? I think we owe a wheel spin, don't we? Or do we owe two? I don't know. Mog distracted me. But yeah, this, this thing, like, what you're looking at... Let me show you one sec. Because I can show, like, just visually how different the menu looks. Just based on the Twitter thread that I made. Um, but look at... This looks really clear right now, doesn't it? Right? And you might just be thinking, no big deal. But this is actually an interlaced menu. This is 480i right now being motion adaptive interlaced. And it looks crystal clear. Two hundred bucks. I don't really know how much. Oh damn, Sky, you got you got. Yeah, this is this is interlaced right now. It looks that good. Mog is licking me. Oh, you're being nice, boy. My K's being nice, boy. Look, look, you're being nice. Oh, he's biting again. <laughs> I owe two. Okay, I will do that right after this. It's normally two forty p. No. No, the menus in Chrono Cross are 480i. That's why this game is such a problem for upscalers and and for capture cards. The gameplay is 240p. The menus are 480i. So just going in the menu is a resolution swap. That's why it's such a pain in the ass to play. You are being so disruptive. He thinks he's being nice. Like, I can't be mad at him. He just doesn't know. There you go, Sky. That's good. That's good, man. All right. But anyway, like, I did this tweet thread today in the morning. And you can pretty clearly see it when Mog gets his feet off the keyboard. <laughs> Mog, stop. He's, like, pawing me and just, oh, God. This cat. This cat. I tell you. Will you stop? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> It's so weird for a resolution change game to a menu. The reason is because the game was designed for analog displays. They didn't care what the resolution was as long as it was right, like the right refresh rate. Um, so you could get a more high res looking menu with an interlay signal. For gameplay, it wasn't really good. I, I don't know why they did that, but if we do this, you can see like the immediate difference. Like this is what it looks like normally with the Bob D interlacing on like the OSSC or just OBS. Like everything looks kind of distorted and fuzzy and the picture jitters. Like this is what it would look like normally on like a capture card or on a uh, on an OSSC. But the Tink 5X makes it look like this. Like it's just like night and day the difference. Just legibility itself is so much better. So, like, almost every PS2 game is 480i. Almost all of them are interlaced. This is going to make PS2 games look awesome. <laughs> it's going to make them look really good. So, like, I can't ever see myself using anything but this for PS2 games. It does have a more vibrant picture, too. You seeing Mog Sock come on? Yeah, he's like... Pawing me. Just, he's being a weird guy. I don't know, I think he thinks he's being nice, but... He just does the teeth thing, and... See? Like... Like, he thinks that this is the same as licking. That's why he's doing both. He's actually, like, he's being nice. He just doesn't understand. Ow! Says you stoke for Dark Cloud and Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, there's a lot of PS2 games sitting right behind me that I'm really excited to see how they're going to look on this thing. You are a silly little man. You already got treats. 
Here, let me give you a little... No, you don't want that, do you? Okay. I won't do that then. He thought it was playtime. Chop, chop. Yeah, that's what he does. Like, so I just... Uh-oh, here we go. He's going back after the mic arm. Can you... Don't jump up there. Don't do it. Oh, he's going to attack Navi. Hey! J claws off. No. Bad kitty. Time to go in the bed. <laughs> go in the bed. <laughs> Little shit. <laughs> As soon as claws go on the cable, it's over. You're like, no, you're fired. Get out. <laughs> little asshole. <laughs> He's a cute little asshole, isn't he? Oh, man. What are you going to do? It's locked. Well, shoot. Bum, 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 bum. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, shit. Dun, dun, dun. It's a uh, PS1A mic arm. Jesus, 183. Current record most damage. Let's steal some more iron. It looks like we're going to need a lot of it for steel eventually. A love tap train them over time? No, he thinks it's like being playful. Did 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 seventy five could have been better. Crunch. Steel for steel, yeah. We're liking the fights in this, but being disappointed by the story. So far, I don't really have any major attachment to the story because we haven't seen very much of it. So far, it's interesting. Comments fun. Visuals are amazing. Music is amazing. Fire pillar. Ooh. There's a lot to like about this game. Meal, meal gets MG forgot. What? What does that mean? Dun, 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 dun. Magnify, man. Can't wait to be able to use that. Fire pillar. Ooh. Bird's enemy in a pillar of flames. Gimme. Now right here. Yes. Do do do. He's still trying to figure his bed out. I have two spins. Oh. There you go. Okay. There you go. Do -do 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 -do. Mel, what's up, Mel? I'm gonna be on Mel's channel Wednesday. Did you know? Did you know? I'm gonna be a Mel's channel on Wednesday. For a little bit. For a little bit. It's gonna be like ultra combo early for me too. It's gonna be interesting. You just woke up. I fixed my camera, I know. Upscale myself to 4K. No. <laughs> Uh, I don't want a 4K. No one on the planet has the bandwidth to stream 4K in a good quality. Do, do, do. It's like 60... What is it? To put out a good 4K signal is like... God, the amount of bandwidth, I can't remember you need it, is just magnitudes. Twenty-five megabits per second. That does that sounds way too low. Boob, you gotta steal from the ghost. Just 
sword dance. Don't hit Bob. How dare you? How dare you? Thank you, Ryu Alston, for gifting a sub to Mel. Plays games. I stole a heal. It wasn't worth it. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Well, let's just do a magma bomb. There's too many enemies. What is going on? Jesus, Ryu. Dun, dun, dun. No, I wasn't talking about download side. I was talking about upload. It's ridiculous the bandwidth you need to actually have a quality signal on 4K. Thank you for all the gift subs, Ryu, man. That's crazy, dude. 60 megabits for up for four. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think, I think 25 sounds way too low. Googly box is completely wrong. <laughs> Googly box is very wrong about that. It is not eight to 14 megabits per second up for 4K. That's just not right. Mog, stop. Oh no, he's attacking me again. It's yeah, I think it was 60 was the amount you needed to upload a proper 4K stream. Unless you're doing something really silly like 24 frames per second, then obviously it'll be lower. Like somewhere in the neighborhood of, oh, I don't know, 25 megabits per second. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, For video game streams, you don't want lower than 30 if you can help it. You don't want lower than 60, ideally. Doing well, Miss Mel. I think we're going to be playing, what, Donkey Kong Country, you said? DKC? Ow! 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 Jeez, those guys hit hard. There was a lot of ouchies right there. Is not 1080p 60 the highest you can do on Twitch? No. You can go higher. Nobody does because one, most people don't have the upload plus the CPU computational power to do it. And two, most people can't watch at those speeds. So there's no reason to, nobody does because there's really no reason to. Yeah, max 6K bitrate. Imagine a 4K stream at 6K bitrate. <laughs> it's gonna be a blocky mess. You basically aren't outputting a 4K at that point. The wheel has allowed us to play Popcat twice. Ban a mod, fix the camera twice. The viewers have not gotten our proper participation. <laughs> All right, man. After this fight, I will get you, I promise. Somebody showed me a 4K Twitch stream recently. Said it was amazing and I loaded it up. Yes, it was a 4K stream, and it was literally just a guy with a camera. Not much was happening on the screen at the time, and it was still pretty glitchy. It was not amazing at all. <laughs> it was exactly as expected. It looked like shit. You wouldn't be able to watch? I mean, no. Your, 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 your app would probably downscale it, but it would still be the same bit rate. Mog, he's biting me again. Mog, stop biting. 
stop biting. Stop your bites. Z has my hand now. Do do do. It's a question. Also, is Twitch spending resources to stream 4K? Well, yeah. Because ultimately, what they had to do is that guy had trans codes. I think. I don't remember if he did or not, but the browser is now having to scale that 4K video signal down to whatever you're viewing it at. Most people are viewing Twitch streams on desktop at weird, weird resolutions because that's the way the UI is set up. Like you might be watching at 1080p, but I guarantee you're not because you have chat on the right side of screen. So that image is now being downscaled smaller unless you literally full screen the video and have chat somewhere else. <clears throat> Look at this cat. <laughs> Just what are you doing? God damn it. How do I focus with this? <laughs> Just, rawr, just attacking me. <laughs> Kitty, what do you want? What do you want? <sighs> He's making up for lost time. I think he wasn't feeling well the last time. Yeah. Yeah, that was me screaming for 28 seconds one night because I thought it would be a good idea. And then everyone's like, make it an alert. I'm like, but it's so long. Well, they wanted it. So, yeah. 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 Sorry, Rio Olsen. You tried. You gave it your best best shot, man. It was a good effort. We're playing Chrono Cross on a PS1 with the new RetroTINK 5X upscaler. One of the main things that it can do, for those of you curious, is resolution switches almost instantaneously, which this game does when you go into the menu. It switches in gameplay from 240p to menu, 480 interlaced. And this can go back and forth quite rapidly with little to no delay. Which is nuts to me because it's really technically renegotiating the HDMI signal each time it does this. Have you ever changed the resolution of your monitor through an HDMI cable and it blacked the screen for one to five seconds, right? That's the connection renegotiating that HDMI signal. This is doing it instantaneously. It's crazy. <laughs> Thanks for the host, Mal. I appreciate it. Do, do, do. I'm using the 5X for this because of the menu, but also for the motion adaptive the interlacing. Did I use the 2X link? Oh, I don't know what that is, Arcane, Ener Arcane Energy. Not sure what that means. Do you mean Tink? Retro Retro Tink 2X? Before this, I before that I used the OSSC, the open source scan converter. But another thing is look at how clear the menu looks. You know, I'll show this again for those of you just getting in that want to see how good you can make the game look. I could show you what the menu used to look like on the OSSC, which is anything that uses Bob D interlacing. This is the thread I made this morning. Uh, comparing the scaling options on both devices. Here is the OSSC main menu. If you open a new tab, 100% zoom. You can see that it's basically pixel perfect, right? There's no color bleed or sampling errors or anything. Every pixel shows up. Um, however, the OSSC doesn't deinterlace very well. Um, it just uses Bob deinterlacing because it's the fastest. So we can see the difference with this image. These are zoomed in 800%. This is Bob deinterlacing on the OSSC. You can see how kind of grainy, fuzzy it looks. The text is distorted. Um, the signal itself in motion jitters. It kind of jumps and jitters. It looks kind of messy. But on the RetroTINK 5X, it looks like that. That's motion adaptive deinterlacing, which is some kind of algorithm that actually analyzes the pixels of the image each frame and does the best it can to understand what it should look like each frame. And as you can tell, it does a really good job. Right, here's Bob deinterlacing on the OSSC. 
And this right here is motion adaptive deinterlacing on the RetroTink 5X. So for games like Chrono Cross, the Silent Hill games, I think Resident Evil 2 on either PS1 or N64 have big issues with this too. The RetroTink 5X basically solves all of that. It's pretty impressive. Doo doo doo. Dude, dude. Thanks for the host, Sky So Fly. We got a lot of hosts tonight. Appreciate it. Juker, man. What's slated up for you? Coming up. As far as like games you're going to be playing. Because <clears throat> I haven't been able to stop in in a bit. Like a week or so. Because we basically stream at like the same time. <laughs> like we basically do. So I'm like, well, I don't want to hang out in Juker's channel. There we go. Cool. Camera fixed. I mean, oh no, it glitched out. What's this? There's a hurt person. It got me. It's right there waiting. Damn it all. all right, let's fight it. But after getting this thing, I realize now I really want a BVM or a PVM. Who in chat knows what a BVM or a PVM is? Do you know? All right, let's steal from the ghost again. You got one of those? What's the size? Does it do 480p? Can I have it? No, I mean, it's got a, you know. Oh, I guess it's all you. You know what PB and J is? Me too, yeah. Your buddy Dalton's around here to do a Pikmin 2 co-op mod you found. Whoa, that's sick. Is your son you're checking out a whole bunch of Saturn exclusives? Oh man, I want to be there. 13 inch. I know it's mine. <laughs> Dark. Well, actually I need like 17 inch minimum. But anything smaller is going to be too small from where I put it. But th so thanks for offering, not offering. I'm, I'm being totally gracious right now. Like, wow, he's so nice for offering. And everyone's like, he didn't offer. He said, no. God, this guy is full of himself. Shush. I'm going to Bob Star the skeleton. I need one, Juker. Yeah. I need a 17 to 20 inch BVM PVM with RGB input. Whether it's BNC or not, I don't care. And component and probably VGA too. <laughs> you know, no big deal. <laughs> and also 480p minimum. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just like asking for the impossible. For those of you that don't know, PVM is professional video monitor, commonly used in hospitals. BVM is broadcast video monitor commonly used in TV stations. But they had other uses too, of course. Those are just the most commonly associated uses. Do -do -do. Panacea. It said times one, so I'm assuming that's a consumable. It is indeed. Removes all status effects. That's pretty awesome, actually. You don't have a key? What did I just do? Did I just go in a vent? I think I did. These things are everywhere. They're mostly used to attract a partner. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's not what they're for. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's just, that's just weird. Let's try fire pillar. I want to see what this does. Yo, Juker, can you help me reset up Parsec at some point? I haven't used it in a long time. 
Mrs. of Eleven use your Mythic Retro Game Collection. Man, that's pretty awesome. I'm still working on improving mine. Yo, Bob killed somebody with a weapon. Good job, Bob. Show him how it's done. <laughs> Are those main uses the reason they always look completely rectangular? I don't know what you mean. Uh oh, it's gonna hurt. She threatens to leave you if you sell any of your stuff. <laughs> that woman's got priorities. Pretty easy setup, you just need to know VAC. Valve anti-cheat? Man, we're getting a lot of iron here. That's great. We're gonna be able to upgrade everybody. That's pretty sick. Capsule. Virtual audio cables. I won't need that, I promise. I do not need virtual audio cables. 100 million percent guarantee it. I did my hosting duties at ESA without ever having to use anything like that. Listening to my own music on my mixer, outputting my mixer to ESA, and they never picked up anything but my mic. I know how to route audio. I don't need v virtual audio cables. <laughs> I'm good. So as long as I don't need that, perfect. <laughs> Discord being weird on Parsec. I could probably fix that for you, most likely. If it has audio related. Uh, the shape, it really has nothing to do with it, Delph. No. No, the reason people want those for retro gaming is because they put out a high resolution and very clear signal for an analog signal higher than normal consumer TVs can, or even consumer monitors can. I actually was on Solomon's channel yesterday, outputting my mixer to another computer, which is just one audio source. But the only thing he heard from me was my mic, despite the mixer sending everything else. Technically, it wasn't, but you kind of get me. Grab some foods. You got to bring me some. It's the rules. Anytime anyone AFKs for food, they have to bring me some. It's just how we do it around here. Let's go magma bomb. If you mean the outer casing of them being a perfect flat shape, yes, they were designed to stack. But that has nothing to do with why people actually want them. That's just some like cosmetic shit. It doesn't really matter. Get a bop. Uh, I love it. Giant star. There we go. Finish up that super healthy um, vomit. Okay, so Sammy ate vomit. Cool. Send me some next time you ship some games. Uh, I'd rather you don't. Anytime anyone sends stuff like that, it shows up in crumbs. Like, seriously. I appreciate it. I really do. Like, I still have that box from Thor, but almost all of those were just all crumbs. They just don't last in transit. <clears throat> I don't have the key. Well, come on, where's the key? Give me the key. You don't have the key either. Okay. We gotta find the key. 
Doo -doo -doo. There's a lot of ghosts on this ship. Don't send anything living. Good plan. I like the way you're thinking here. Getting ahead of the game. It's good. Nice. Good kill. Let's do fire pillar on this one. Sixty-nine damage. You know what to do, chat. You got this. Come on, chat. We did sixty-nine damage. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I love how everyone gets on board with that. It's so good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we get a little cultural with it now. Here you go. Does Nikki have equipment I need? He might. He did. The Profiteer Purse. Okay. There we go. He did have some of that stuff. Do -do -do. I mean, Rocky. Sorry. We named him Rocky. I forgot. Do -do -do. I want to go make weapons. We got all these, like, this iron now. It's been excellent. <clears throat> By the purse, how did you guys get out? Oh, forget it. We have more serious matters to worry about. All right. Well, then get out of my way. You can't get through here. Monsters are all over the deck. What a key. Who's on key duty? Oh, I am. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, I want the key. Thanks. Here you go, prisoner. You can have our precious key. Do -do -do. Another way to get on deck is by going through the arsenal downstairs and making your way up from the outside. Okay. Cool. I just want to know how to get Nikki's concert because someone said it was optional. To me, it's not optional. We we need to do that. We can't miss that. It cannot be missed. It's like one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a game. Do do do. Do do do. -do. Uh, uh, okay, fine. There's a lot of enemies here. Normally, I avoid them. Um, and there's this many. Or, when the quarters are this cramped. I don't have that option, do I? do 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 The skeleton alive. Hey, it's not alive. What are you talking about? Good job, Bob. Very proud of you. Show me star, Bob. Got to be a fun technical consultant for a friend's ISD issue. So in other words, this is a story about you hating every second of, of the, the day. Right? Or was it actually fun? I can never tell if you're being sarcastic. I really can't. I'm sorry. I can't tell if anyone's being sarcastic, to be honest. It's usually why I tend to just disregard it. <laughs> I just can't tell. Do, 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 do. It's hard to get through tax. It really is, yeah. For sure. It's locked. 
But I have a new key. Where is it? Um, didn't I get a new key? Am I blind here? I don't see it. I see the manor key. Bunch of bones. Uh, just give me the key or what? Do do do. I don't know. You want to leave your bed? It usually takes me an hour plus to get out of bed. Kind of sucks. It was fun. He was actually fun. He got to teach people, technicians, ISP, phone techs, and junior network analysts that the modem was the issue and prove out all their other issues. How'd you do that? Teach us your sorcery. Regison is an internet sorcerer. In case you were curious. Why is she? Oh my god, that was all missed. Wow. Internet sorcerer. Stop missing. Why is the skeleton so evasive? Blow it up. I don't get it, Pag. Sorry. Never played it. Wow, this, that is the most evasive skeleton of all time. Regison, ISP proxy services, 45 Canadian dollars an hour. There you go. There's your new job. Thank you. Quit your job now, Reg, please. Just, just get rid of it. Yo, the land lovers, we threw in the hole, but it just doesn't matter. Where do you plan to go? Uh, you found the key. Good luck. I did? Where is it, though? It's locked. If I found the key, then why isn't it in my inventory? I don't have a key. Then why are there locked doors? What? Let's go back. Maybe I missed something. Like maybe there's a chest or something. It is kind of hard to see with these on. Sometimes. It does appear that the enemies are not respawning. We think. Give me the key. I should be able to make my way to the deck with that. I don't have a key. How am I supposed to? Huh? <laughs> I hope this didn't glitch out on us. Otherwise we in trouble. No, no, no. I do like Bob mechanically better than Luch Lucia, even though she's way cooler, but oh, whatever. Apparently, they decided to give the cute librarian the worst possible stats in the entire game. It's locked. Then... <sighs> yeah, okay. It's locked. It sure is. Use the key. Okay, so the key literally opens one door. Fair enough. Just one door. It opens one door. wonder what opens all those other doors! What in the world? <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, how do I get that chest, though? Can I have that, please? Give me that. He's, like, looking at me, like, trying to get to me. No. In the name of David Jones, I can't believe you made it here. That's quite impressive. Would you like some of my homemade vitamin drink? Yes. Guy was poisoned. It's still in the testing phase. You're... Yeah. Status abnormalities removed. 
Okay. No, let's drink it again. Drink up. Guy was poisoned. Do it again. Drink up. Guy was poisoned. I, it's RNG. It's an RNG drink. Okay, I was poisoned three times. Can I have the status abnormalities removed? Oh my, Bob was poisoned. Now we have to do this until it works. Oh no. <laughs> Poop was poisoned. We're all poisoned. Oh no. There we go. Okay, we're good. Not gonna do that again. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Determine signal integrity, root signal line, consistency, rattle house wiring, underground wiring, tap quality, multiple computer results. Proving the line, signal, internal devices were all fine and in good order. The only issue is the modem was failing and wasn't processing traffic to the internet through it properly. Causing high latency packet loss. Teach me how to do that. Or just do it for me. <laughs> oh, you had to physically be there. Okay, that's different. Generally, keys open specific doors. How... Dare you attack me with your facts and common sense? Oh, wow, the nerve. You're gonna make breakfast? What are you making me? Smile. Can I go over there? No, all right. Ah! No, what? Oh my goodness. These things are everywhere. At least it's only one. Everything's dodging again. Oh, oh dear. Things are getting locked down and no visitors, no outside gatherings at all. So you only have one shot? Jeez. Stop missing. Just defend. Man. I'm suddenly like missing a lot of attacks. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now I just want to eat breakfast and it's 2.50 in the morning. Man. There's something to be said about 3 a.m. breakfast though. There really is. I didn't even get to move. <laughs> yeah, this game's like hit percentages are grossly incorrect. Seatsy fly. Okay, that thing looks terrifying. Alright, Bob. We want some AoE. This thing is going to be weak to uh, all right, light as well. Let's get some AoE, Bob. Let's do Magma Bomb. Texas Mesquite. What is a Tsetse fly, though? I, no, I've heard of it. I don't... Is that just, like, another word for gnat? Or is it something else? Do, 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 do. Let's try and steal from it. Let's see what it has. 3 a.m. bacon, eggs, pancakes, toast with jam. Yeah. Seriously, man. Another heal. Okay. Really wasn't worth it. That's one of the things I used to like doing way back in the day. 24 hour diners after a bar you know you're not going to get the best food ever but you are going to be able to order something like french toast you know or like a monte cristo or something at like three in the morning there's a certain value to that <laughs> there really is there you 
There you go. Smack it. Got it. You want treats? You just learned how to make Monte Cristos? Dude, they are delicious. It's been a long time since I had that. They've spread diseases like mosquitoes too, real bad in Africa. Really? I see. Humor. Ooh. Those foods aren't easy to screw up. Right. Exactly. Exactly 57. Like, it's just, you know what you're getting. It's not fancy, but it's good. <laughs> That's it. It just hits the spot. Oh, okay, we gotta fight it. Man. Oh, we don't have to fight it. Amazing. There's a cat right here. Wickedy. Dun, dun, dun. This is a, this, this section is kind of a slog. Like it's the most forced encounters we've had in the game so far. Sixty nine damage. Three AM I hop with the bar staff because he helped us the bouncer. Nice. We have another visitor. They've both been on my desk a lot today. It's really strange. It must be the weather change because it's been hot all day. And I have a lot of air pushing around over here in this corner. What's up, chimpanzee? You have a kitty on your desk too? Nice, Chad. What's your cat's name? Do you have a picture of your cat? I like seeing, I like seeing pictures of pets from chat. Sometimes I have chat post pictures of their pets in Discord, in our Discord server. And then we just like to look at them. I think that's fun. My friend uh, Inde does that a lot too. The dude just gushes over cat pictures. It's adorable. <laughs> he just goes crazy over him. Uh, Egberta? Oh my God, I love that name. <laughs> Hello, little lady. You want head rubs? See, she's chill. She's a loving cat. That is such a good name. Egberta. This is Lickety Split right here. She's called that. Because normally, normally, if you do this, she she want to damage. She does this. See? Good kitty. I'll comb her hair. It's not the best camera. It's my secondary C920. Normally, I use my uh, mirrorless camera. Thank you again, everyone, for all your support today and for hanging out. It's been really fun. No, we're not done, though, so don't worry. But I just wanted to say thanks. It's cool to have you all here. Look at her. She's just hanging out. She just wants to hang out. It's cool. I'm cool with it. Oh, I love how much iron we're getting here. This is wonderful. We might skip the iron weapon entirely and try to get a steel weapon for folks. Dun, dun, dun. There's a chest there that I want. Oh, well. What is that? Is that a Moogle? What is that? Is that Pip? Is that the thing we let out? I think that's that creature we let out. I think that's Pip. It looks like Pip. You got your food? What'd you get? The cat used to sleep on your work desk as well. Then you brought in a dog bed. Just claim that and sleeps on that while you're working. That's good. Man. 
I'm really happy with how strong Guy is turning out to be. Holy crap. Let's try steel for him. Give it another shot. There are rare steals. Oh, she just whiffed it. Kick some dust. She's disappointed in herself. Nekabrot? Nekabrot? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like a cracker and you added butter on it. Just gotten a mint of iron here. This is wonderful. Oh, she's. Mm. What do I like to make as a snack sometimes? It's, uh. You gotta have it handy, but. Nice, I got the hit. One thing that I think is really good is. Toast with honey, a little olive oil, and gorgonzola cheese. You melt it all together. It is extremely good. Oh, it's so good. Olive oil, honey, and gorgonzola cheese on toast. Melt it all together. He'll get. Yeah, I got a lot of those. You can just buy those for like 50. Sadly, that, that's got to be the common steal. But hey, it's better than nothing, right? All right, let's see what's going on with Pip here. Capsule. Okay. Pip, come back! Why do you keep approaching me? Can't you see I'm hiding? You wanna know why I'm here? I'm a stowaway. I want to desperately to see the sea. When I woke up, there were monsters all over the place. It really scared me. <laughs> anyway, I want to see the world because all my wife, I've been walked up in a web. <laughs> Can you broaden my view of the world? Okay, sure. You can come along, Pip. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god. <sighs> All right, let's name Pip, chat. Let's name Pip. The raffle has begun. You get a chance to name Pip here. Six characters. Max, have a name ready. Exclamation point Emmy to enter. What are we going to name Pip? What are we going to name Pip? If you do not have a name ready and you win, we will regretfully move on to the next person. So make sure you got one thought up. You have the perfect name. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. 20 seconds left. Uh, Got to enter the raffle, man hero. I'm not doing suggestions. Sorry. You gotta win. You gotta win the raffle. Do -do -do -do. You might miss out on entering, though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do -do -do -do. Oh, looks like you missed out. All right, you didn't enter the raffle. Here we go. The winner to name Pip is going to be Dr. Belvin. Belvin, have you won yet? Have you won yet? Gizmo. From uh, Gremlins, right? Yeah, one yet. Perfect. All right, what was everyone else going to name them? Let's hear the other names, too. All right, Gizmo it is. <laughs> we'll take a look at their stats, but I kind of like our party. From what I understand, Pip is really challenging to use properly. They do some weird kind of, like, 
evolution thing. I don't know. You're gonna go with Kuma, like Monokuma. Nice. Popcat. <laughs> Wiggler. Nice. Pipkin evolved. Yeah, I don't really know how it, uh, it works, to be honest, but I know Pip has interesting capabilities. Graviton. Ooh, that's new. Wonder what that is. Level three dark spell, all foes. Crushes foes with super gravity field. Ooh, that's our strongest AoE spell we have. We're giving it to Bob. Hey, Bob. I got this here for you, Bob. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm gonna let you smack the enemies around here. You okay? Okay, Bob. I'm good. Do I want to put it here? I think I do. I think I do. I know it's not the same element, but dang it. It's an AOE. Pip's a lot of work, but it pays off. You named Pip Plop. <laughs> you don't understand it either, Shad. Shad's Shadza? Shadza? Is that how you say it? Or do I just say Shad? However you want, it's fine. You were gonna go with Boingo. You don't enter anymore? There's like 40 characters, Delph. Just don't just, you know, wait like one or two before you re-enter. Unless you've already named like a bunch. Shad or Shads. Got it. Got it. Pip's still chilling there. All right. Enjoy your chill there, Pip. Do, do, do. Tragic. Photon beam. I think that's the better one. Do, do, do. Oh, it's been a while since we could save. <laughs> I'm going to overwrite. Do, do, do. Oh dear. Just the time, mates. Look out. Uh okay. Yo, it's Sensu. Sensu beam. Hello, Sensu. How you been? How you doing, Miss Sensu? You still doing your hit or er, deathless bloodborne runs? Dang, I wanted to do Bob's new spell, but this thing is dark and eight. You don't know what that is? Damn it. All right, hold on. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... Oh, she killed it. Bob killed it with her stick. Dun, 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 dun. Gravity blow. You know, if you just answered, you just got an ad. I said, are you still doing your deathless bloodborne runs? And then you did summon Becky and I said, damn it, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> PC update has messed up your audio? Usually does. That's why I don't let Windows update my PC. It doesn't. It's not allowed. There's too many of them! Ah, uh, you call yourself Sea Dog, show some spirit! Uh. Oh, jeez. Well, this is going well. Damn, mate, just go help the captain! Alright. Sure, sure. It goes through monitor speakers. You just gotta change the audio device, right? You return after a couple of weeks of not even playing games. Wow, you took a week, couple weeks off of playing no games? Crazy. 
I can't even open my menu right now. Boo, boo, boo. Bob is our party leader now. Sorry, but not sorry. The update disabled, messed it up. Ugh. That's Microsoft for you. Good old Windows 10 forced updates. That's why I got Windows 10 Pro and set group policies to force no updates, which has worked for a couple years, but I know they eventually do force like the service packs on you or whatever they are. Mog is awaiting nearby. Thanks for giving me points for <laughs> Get your stinking ghostly hands off me. Dang. Do, do, do. You need to do some work, but you leave the view up. Thank you so much. It's good to have you. Damn me arm. Your name's Guy. Uh, go take the wheel. Um, uh, hi, Captain. I'm counting on you. The SS Invincible. That's a cool name. Man, your stations in time to show these monsters what we're made of. Let's do it. Keep my head high. They're coming. Is this a mini game or? No, it's a fight. Oh, God. There are five enemies. Okay. Oh, they're not five enemies. There's one. They have totally just Voltroned. Uh, well, slime Voltron more accurately. Bob, why are you in the lead? <laughs> Bob, what happened? Uh. All right, good. We're going to lower this thing's accuracy because we don't know what it can do. Nice. Hopefully it hits less. Diminish. All right, what's this do? Element damage halved. Fair enough. Well, it's just melee time. Swap party leaders. I thought it just swapped who was visually in the field, not the actual party leader. But all right, I will not be doing that again. All right, steal from this thing. Look at back, Juker. Nice. What do we get? 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 Gravity blow. That sucked. All right. Death's odor. Ew, it smells like butt. What did it do? They have a status. Oh, they're blind. It halved element damage and blinded people. Oh. Oh. Bob is this lovely little fairy thing. Well, this is going to be interesting. The only one not blind is the weakest physically. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's Bob star it. Forty seven. Wasn't very good. All right, here we go. Miss. Miss. Boy, I love blindness. Dark breath. Oh boy. I should have equipped. Not that I knew, but I should have equipped things to prevent or cure dark status effects. She hit every time with blindness. That's impressive. Please stop hitting Bob in the face. Bob is very sensitive. All right, Bob, heal yourself. 
John Spooky, how you doing, man? Nice, there you go, that a boy. Animals are awesome. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. All right, poop is blind. Bomb and guy are not. I'm gonna fire pillar this thing. That sucks really bad. <laughs> uh, okay. We're gonna turn it yellow. I'll make it weak to green spells. Bob has a lot of green spells. We're gonna defend. You're also gonna defend. So are you. Imbecile! That's probably lowers her, lowers her, yeah, her magic attack. I don't care about that. I, I don't care. Let's try Photon Beam. Sixty-six. That was okay. Looks like physical is really the only way to go here. Or you can just miss. Damn. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Come on, Bob. Let's go. All right. Uh, Bush Basher. Here we go. Should be weak to this. 39 is terrible. I think this thing still has reduced element damage on the field. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That was awesome. This thing does a lot of status effects, but it doesn't seem to really be doing any... Um, not much damage. Really not. I'm gonna keep Bob filled up on uh, element. Just in case we need a cure all. I am gonna have to use element right here, actually, to heal Guy. Very nice. All right, Guy, no missing. That's a miss. Look at those percentages. I got one. Yes! <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, we got a new star. Finally, let's get some stats. Bob got the strength, resistance, and magic and HP. That's a good level. Bob is going to have some good magic power. Uh, guy got a lot of hit points and resistance. Poob got a lot of hit points and strength. Okay. I take it. It's a good level for everybody. Hell soul. I think I already had that. Looks like the sea's back to no more. You said you were headed to Fort Dragonia to go after Viper and his men. Let me give you some advice. Mount Pyre is a fiery hell. Without any protection against fire, you'll lose strength fast. I suggest you go see the Water Dragon for his divine protection. Okay. Although I haven't heard much about him recently, I wonder if that dragon's still alive. I haven't heard much about the other dragons either. All right, there's one character I need to look at. Where is she? How do we get her? This is the one character I don't want to miss because I am a thirsty bastard. Smile. Uh, doesn't say how to get her. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> Why doesn't it tell me how? It ranks every character. It's like, this is their stats. And it's like, how do you get them? Uh, well, I don't know. Okay, cool. Good. 
Okay, this one's terrible, too. Oh, man, these are not working. Thanks for the GG's, Shad. Haseo Mel. East Peace. Joker. I think that was a G. No, that was a face palm. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. The reading marble of. Okay, we can't get her yet. All right. As much as we just beat. What's going on nowadays? I tell you, even the sea seems to have changed its nature. Probably because we human folks have come around. Yeah, yeah, I don't need this mushy talk from a pirate. In the name of David Jones, what have we done? No. It's a laughing. It looks like a face palm, too. <gasps> Mission accomplished. That was fun. We cleared out a ghost, well, a pirate ship of ghosts from a ghost ship. Please save so I can take a break. Why do I want to take a break? Every system ever. <sighs> Xbox stole the Kinect idea for PS2. I guess kind of. I mean, the iToy was not really that popular, but I mean, you saw MD, so Mega Drive. Oh, Genesis. Okay. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah, they, man. They hit like every system, didn't it? Like Saturn, Super Nintendo, Genesis. I, I don't think it hit NES, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Um, I think it was also on um, 3DO. I think it was on Neo Geo. Might have even been on the Jaguar. <laughs> like it was on like every system. So many ports. It's just, it's impressive. There's a Game Boy Street Fighter 2 too? Yeah, yeah, there is, yeah. Yep, that's true. Oh, the music. This game has just got the vibes. It really does. I love that we're in the open world aspect of this game. It's basically non-linear at this point. I was supposed to go visit some hermit, and I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's, let's not. Let's just not do that. How about we just roam around? And that's what we've been doing. <laughs> that's what we've been doing. Just kind of roaming around. It's pretty damn cool. I got to say. <laughs> Let's see what, what the hermit's right away is at this point. Burned out. Oh. Oh, I hope we didn't wait too long. Burned out. Oh, right. I should probably not have the fairy in the lead. The ground here is hot. Vegetation won't grow here. Okay. I'm not trying to grow vegetation? Question mark? Thank you, though. That was, that was an unusual text bark man well whoever lived here is clearly not living here no more maybe what did we find the basement is unscathed they could have survived Oh, I wish my monitor worked better. I really do. This is a nice monitor. It's just so dark. Like, you guys can see perfectly right now. This looks beautiful. I can see the same level of detail, but the colors are so dark. Like, I, like this right side, this whole side of the room, like, all of this is just pitch black on my monitor. I can't see any of that. All this section here is just pitch black. What the fuck, man? WTF? Like, what the hell? I need a, a better monitor. I wish this monitor just worked better and I would just keep it. Like, you know, it would just solve everything, basically. But, eh, eh you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You got to get me a BVM or a PVM. That's what I got to do. <clears throat> That's the next investment I got to make. For me. For me, myself, and I. You can see it a little bit. 
Well, on stream, it should be pretty clear what you see there. Old broadcast and hospital monitors. Yes, that's correct. He wasn't joking. That's not a kappa. That's where you get them. <laughs> that's not a kappa at all. That's literally where you get them from old from TV stations and hospitals. But I'm in the Chicago area. All the retro like retailers around here just go to those places and buy them so they can resell them. I can't find them where I live. You see it perfectly? Yeah. If your monitor isn't set to full color range, then this is pitch black over here. So if you're not getting the full color range on your monitor or display, this is pitch black. If you are, you can see there's a box here. There's a stack of boxes right here. There's a barrel here. There's a like a stool right here. You can kind of see it without it, but yeah. Doon, 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 doon. Well, it looks like somebody could be here, but we're not finding anything. And that's unfortunate. I was hoping to actually find some signs of life, but at least we know that somebody could potentially survive. One of your monitors is a slight green tent. Like, the monitor I use to play games doesn't have a color space problem. It's 21 years old. It's at maximum brightness, and it's too dark. It's just, it's on its way out. That's all it is. It's literally as bright as it possibly can get. It's just not cutting it, you know? It's, it's, this is the monitor I had in college. I'm not even kidding. Like, in my freshman year of college, this is the monitor I used. <laughs> in 2000 and 2001. And it worked great for a very long time. And this thing is awesome for retro games. It's honestly awesome. Because I, you know what I do with it? To make this work so well. And you can do this too. If you have an old CRT like this. I think it's worth a test for you retro capture junkies. What I do is my output from my upscaler goes into an HDMI matrix. And one output from the matrix goes to my capture card, which is what you're seeing. So you're seeing direct from the scaler. And another goes to an HDMI to VGA converter. And that VGA goes into the old CRT monitor. And it works brilliantly. This monitor that's only supposed to be able to do 1280 by 1024 pixel resolution is accepting a 1920 by 1080p signal. Don't know why. I have no idea. But it has worked brilliantly. <laughs> They're like, you should never do this kind of resolution because you're damaging your monitor. I was like, fuck it. It's old. If it breaks, it breaks. I don't care. Works perfectly. <laughs> I was like, how does this work? I just panned and scanned it, so I got the whole image. <laughs> it's so weird. The CRT monitor's like, I got this, bro. Don't worry, man. Just, you know, just sit back. Hold my beer. Like, okay. <laughs> Let me show you. I can actually show you. There it is. You can see my wonderful cable management there, of course, but there it is. That's a 1080p signal on a freaking 21-year-old CRT monitor. Explain to me how that works. I don't know, but it does. It just does it. It just works. <laughs> I don't recommend you do this. I really don't. Mel's on TV. Hi, Mel. Hello. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mom. <laughs> but it works. Somehow it does. So so that's what I do. Um, but normally for the OSSC, the OSSC, I would output line 4X, which is, for a lot of these games, 1280 by 960. That monitor is more than within spec to handle that without issue. Um, but 1080p is well beyond its specifications, and it still does it. I don't know why. Also here, I got a little present for you. Here you go, chat. You got, uh, here's a little present for all of you. Because we all like this. We got this guy right here. See, in the top right. It's 30 kilohertz, so yeah. That's it. It's It sees 30 kilohertz, and it's just like, okay. That's what it is, because that's what the upscalers are outputting. And then I'll go here, and I'll make sure it's on here for you folks, too. What do you want? You want it down here? You want it, oh, how about right here? This is probably best, right? Right up there. I get a little moggy camera action there. While he takes his nap on his tree. There you go. 
pretty unobtrusive, but cool. You get to see the cat. All right, so there's really nothing here in this hermit hideout that we can see yet. Let's see what the Island of the Dead is. Or Isle. Isle of the Dead. Isle of the Damned. Okay, I was wrong both times. Feels bad. I remember this place having really spooky and cool music. There's bones everywhere. We're running on bones. You've been thinking a long time about modding one of your CRTs to take RGB 15 kilohertz. I think it wouldn't need a mod. Oh, a TV. Okay, I was gonna say, like if it was a computer monitor, it should work. Because the OSC outputs it sometimes. I mean, it's not RGB, it's um, HDMI, but. You know what my ideal would be? Would be like a monitor that can go like up to like 960p, minimum 480p, takes RGB component S video and VGA. Although S video is, can be done through a breakout usually, through blue green on a component signal somehow, depending on the, the, the device. Okay, this place is creepy. Looks cool though, I like the purples. I like the purples. Let's go in here. I got an eyeball. Okay, yeah, that's totally what I expected to find in there. 100%. So I got an eyeball. <laughs> All right, sure. Don Spooky, you probably know your shit, but just remember if you're gonna be opening up a TV or a CRT, you make sure that that capacitor on it is discharged for a good week because it could legitimately kill you if you touch it otherwise. The capacitors and CRTs are often exceptionally powerful. So any of you folks ever wanna open up a computer monitor or TV, there's a piece on it. I don't remember the name of it. Don't touch it. It needs to discharge for a good week or it might murder you. Fly back, that's it. Yeah, that's the word. That's the one I was looking for. That's it. Mixed bones. Oh man, I don't know which bone is which. I'll just connect whatever. There, the foot bones connected to the leg bone. The leg bones connected to the knee bone. All right, all right, I'll shut up. Seriously, thanks a lot, guys. I'm finally in one piece now. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere, someday. One of these days, I'll return the favor. Okay, that was the sixth bone. And he's gone. It just did, okay. Good. That was totally, I'm, I don't, ah, whatever. <laughs> I was like, I thought he would like at least join us. Nah, he just yeets out of there. He just, he's gone. He gets a pass on that joke because he's a clown skeleton. Fair, fair. Capacitors don't store information. Video wizard. It's not what, not what it's for in the TV. It's to keep like the freaking I don't even know the what is it the die the things that the, the, yeah I yes they store a charge right but like it's not what's in the TV designed to store information it's so it doesn't have to charge up any every time you turn on turn it on because like the Whatever the things are, I forgot the name that they, they're the ones that send the fields, the in, the interchanging fields to give you the TV display. That shit would take forever to warm up if it didn't have that. Like, I don't know. I remember as a kid way back in the eighties, like grandparents had an old TV that you turned it on and you had to wait for it to warm up. <laughs> like, uh, you had to wait. That's what the capacitor was designed to avoid. <laughs> you literally had to just wait. 
They're like, why don't you turn on the TV? We'll go, like, you know, make a snack. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> this shit had to warm up. Adjusting a picture using magnet poles? Oh, no. That sounds horrible. Mithril. Oh, I think we're in a bad place right now. I mean, that's amazing I found Mithril, but I'm worried. Oh God, we need to leave. <laughs> Holy shit. Drop the stolen goods. Oh, it was Mithril. I mean, they one shot us, so we wouldn't have won it anyway. Let's get out of here. This is not where we need to be. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out. Turn off. It's just a small dot. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Yeah, it was something like that. Delph. Yeah, it's been a long time. Like I saw it once when I was like super young, and it was just weird. The weirdest. I just did what I was told. Okay, sure. That was probably like five. So it was like the '80s on a TV that was probably from like the early '70s or something like that. You know, like it just. I don't know. I don't remember. All right, we're not going to be here. We have learned a valuable lesson. This place is scary as hell, and we will come back when we are more powerful to get the equipment we want. But that reminds me, we should go upgrade our equipment. We got a ton of iron in that last quest. And that's going to open new doors for us. So let's go to Termina. Envision the old Zappa. The dead party member's corpse lies there alone. <laughs> well, look who that is. I want one of these things. The, I think the biggest selling point really is that you just plug your devices in, your consoles, and it works. It just works. I had to spend... 30 to 120 minutes per console setting up console specific profiles on my OSSC. And they're all pretty much all pixel perfect. They look great, but they took a lot of work. This thing, I just plugged in my PS1 and changed it to 1080p underscan and the right horizontal sync length. Not the sync length, but the uh, optimal timings. And that was it. I changed two settings and it looks like this. <laughs> it took like two minutes. I was like, okay. <laughs> well, the time saved alone is worth the money for me personally. So yeah, this is a cool device. If you're excited about playing on original hardware and upscaling it in a way that it will display in almost any digital display it's that's what you want this is your favorite song in the game it's so good Mel they make any plans of buying it I mean they'll have more next month and they're gonna continually make more they sold so many that they're already they're already ordering like um, manufacturer of tons more. You've been holding off on a Chrono Cross playthrough waiting for this kind of option to exist. I was and I wasn't, but I let the community speak as far as this community goes. Like, I put a pre-curated list of games on a, uh, on a list, and community members can vote for those games with bits and tips. <clears throat> and this one eventually won like the week I want to say it was like the week that this device came out it was like the same week alright we want oh steel is the same as iron okay it's just another name for it alright I was getting excited there alright we're going to make the steel swallow because we got tons of iron now pretty awesome 
We're gonna make the iron dagger here. The iron glove is for a bunch of characters I never use, so pass. Sword, I don't have Glenn. We didn't get him. We'll get the iron pick for for him, just in case. Oh, this is for uh, Bob the Fairy. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so dumb. We named him Bob. <laughs> well, her. I guess it's a her. Steel ranks for Mel. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a wild coincidence video, Wizard. Because it was like Chrono Cross was being voted for well over a year. A year. And it won the week this the Retro Take 5X came out. Thank you. Den... Denisseed? Den... Denisseed? Is that how I say it? Thank you. For the Prime sub. I really appreciate it. Mel, yeah, there's a character named Mel, but somebody renamed her. We Oh, we renamed Denisseed, but Den's fine. Okay. Den, thank you very much for using your Prime sub here. I appreciate that quite a lot. Let's see what the Iron Vest does. I want to see what the stats are in there. Because we might want more, or we might want Bronze Mail. Look at the text. Text is usually a really good indicator of how well it's scaled. If it looks that crisp, they did a good job. <laughs> the text looks excellent. That's one of the best ways to determine a um, how well a game is scaled or um, captured. Because text typically in video games are often designed to contrast as much as possible against whatever's behind them, so they're easy to read. So when you scale up the image 800% or 1600%, you can clearly see if there's anything going on there. His attack is going to go from 32 to 35 and even more hit accuracy. Iron Vest. More defense, more evasion, and more magic defense. I should have made an Iron Mail, too, to compare and contrast. Let's do that. Ooh, that was a lot of materials to make that. I can make Iron Helmets, too. I only have one screw. I apparently need screws. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we need screws. What do we need? It's screws. I am not sure. Maybe some weapons. Hmm. I don't know. I have to find a way to get some of those. Doc, I want to know, Doc, if you've had any favorite weird commercials play during your breaks and chill moments. Because Doc does a similar thing we do here. All right, Iron Vest is way better, I think. He plays, he plays retro commercials. I play retro video game commercials. He plays retro commercials. And I have seen some weird stuff. Like this dude with a mullet who's trying to sell you on calling like a, 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 a hotline to get psychic readings. <laughs> and it just reminds me that that was normal back then. Like there was always commercials for that stuff. It was so weird. It was so damn weird. Then that shit was normal in like the seventies and eighties and even the nineties. This dude with like a pop collar and a mullet wanting you with all earnest and seriousness to call up this 900 number for like 499 a minute or whatever it was to get your Psychic reading. Man. 
That stuff is so weird to me. The early 90s Psychic Friends. Oh, yeah, that was even, like, after it. I know they got put out of business for, like, scamming people. But the ones that I see in docs are, like, way older than that. Like, way before that. Which is wild. All right, we got upgrades for everybody. That's pretty awesome. <sighs> That's a tasty beverage. All right, um... Do, 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 Can we get any new teammates now? That's really what's going on my mind. Like, we don't have Riddle yet. She's OP as hell from what I remember. Um, I want to get Miki though, really. But apparently I have to do... What did, what did Velitra say? What do I have to do? Uh, I don't know. He said something I have to do. I don't know. I think it was... I can't scroll up that high. Infomercials and psychic hotline. Come yeah. Yeah. That used to be a test pattern. Honestly, when I was a kid, um, in like the early 90s, there were still some channels that I would fall asleep to and get woken up a couple hours later because it was just static. They weren't even outputting a test pattern. They would just shut it down. Like, that's such a weird concept to me now. In 2021, the idea... That when a TV station was done at like two or three in the morning, they would just turn everything off. <laughs> like, and then you would just turn into that station. It was like it never existed. It was just static. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. It was, man, the 90s and the 80s were a weird time. I got to tell you. Static is caused by background cosmic radiation. Yes. I did know that. And also combinations of RFI and EMI or radio frequency interference and electromagnetic interference. We need to go eventually to there. Fort Dragonia or whatever. That's that's our des eventual destination, but we have exploration to do first. Now look at us, us night folk can enjoy our night entertainment like it was meant to be, right? I've been a night owl most of my life. And like back then, the only reason I fell asleep is because my brain got bored. There was nothing to do. But I was usually most alert around midnight. And that's still true. It's still true. And I just like, I got tired of like ignoring my body and my brain. And eventually I'm like, I'm just going to start listening. And so like a couple months ago, I pushed my stream schedule up. I used to start at seven central. Now I start at nine central and I go till like three to 5 a.m. And that works for me really well because for me, like the community adjusted some folks, I don't see as much anymore. And that sucks. Some folks I see now that I couldn't, you know, before um, it sucks, but I had to start listening to my own body and mind. And I'm just like, I am alert. I am awake. My brain is active around this time and I just need to listen to it. <laughs> I just have to do it. It's just what works for me. Like it's 4.23 AM right now and I'm, I'm not out of steam at all. <laughs> So yeah, like I get most creative around that time too. So I'm like, I'm just gonna work with my own head and body. It's just the best play. You have to listen to your legs more. Yeah, you do Mel. I hope you find something that um, it helps you out with that. Let's go here or not there. I'm sorry. There was a, the earth, earth dragon island. I didn't go there yet. And then I think I might want to go back to Water Dragon Isle. You can't listen to yours. Yours keeps 
talking, taking you to the kitchen. <laughs> Trying to eat healthy is hard. I can imagine, man. You know what the hardest part is, is how expensive it is, at least in the United States. Eating healthy is like prohibitively expensive, quite literally. Everything costs like 20 to 100% more if it's healthy. It's so dumb. You hope to get a standing S? I hope you get one of those too, Mel. I think that would help you a lot. I think you should, you know what I think you should do, Mel? You have a very supportive community. I think you should do an event type stream that's a fundraiser for a standing desk with the goal that it's going to help out your health because your community clearly cares about you. And I think if you planned it ahead of time, hyped it up and made it happen, you'd make that money in a stream. Don't got room? make room <laughs> if you have room for a normal desk you have room for a standing desk you just got to get one that's the right size a standing desk literally just is a normal desk that goes up and down that's it there were standing desks at my last job before I you know <clears throat> started doing this full time those oh i love those things oh my god like sit like the chairs they gave us were ridiculously expensive they were like these things called like herman miller aerons they had one for like everybody in that building there was like two or three hundred of those things but sitting all day sucked <laughs> it did i would have to get up all the time and like my boss and like almost everyone in the front offices there had those desks and i was like man <laughs> these things are awesome <laughs> yeah i mean it, it was rin vinder it was this place called the united center which is like a huge sports venue in the united states it's like one of the biggest in the world um they got money and then some and then when they run out, they have more somewhere else. Like, it's just, so it was just like, yeah, just give them the best. Like, all right. <laughs> you know of them, you live in Orlando. Okay. So you've heard of, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's in, uh, it's in, uh, it's where the Chicago Bulls and the Chicago Blackhawks play and also tons of concerts and other stuff, so. I wonder how I get up there. I want to talk to that NPC. You see him standing up there on that ledge? Oh, here we go. We got a we got a bridge. Most places like that do, Rin. Most do. It's a major league sports venue. Like they like the Blackhawks is like a billion dollar industry. Like they got money. <laughs> That's just one of the teams that plays there. The owners of each respective team own the building, too. So, I mean, that helps. Some hobby team nobody likes. I don't know. They're usually one of the most popular, um, uh, what is it called? Jersey purchases in the league, from what I recall. <clears throat> I think it was a pretty universal brand. Same for the Bulls. That was the same. No matter how bad the teams got. Or good. It was almost always popular. It was the weirdest thing. Like the Bulls especially are like worldwide popular, which is really because Jordan from the 90s just made them that way. <clears throat> I wonder if I could go down the hole. Yes. Do it. Do it. Yeet. Just YOLO it. Oh. Oh, that was neat. Cool. And to just spin us out. Worked in IT all your life or so until the last two years. Never had nice anything in your outfits. I'm not trying to brag. I don't work there anymore. Like, I, I, I didn't stay there because it wasn't what I wanted to do. You know, like, I took a huge pay cut to stream on Twitch because that's what I want to do. You know, like, it's, it's not like, a, oh, yeah, we had all this cool stuff. We're awesome. No, it was like, that's just what it was. That's just the fact of it. <clears throat> If I was still working there, I'd be like, yeah, we got this. <laughs> what are you and like? You know, whatever <laughs> gives a fuck. 
Always go down the hole. Exactly. Yes. Not like they're the same blues or anything. I don't know, dude. I don't follow the whole rivalry bullshit. Even when I was working for them, I just that just that shit just washes over me. I don't give a fuck. There's always people like that, and I guarantee you, none of them worked for the actual teams, respectively. It was considered a very bad, bad form. <laughs> They didn't want just fans working for those teams. They wanted people to do the job. Mr. T5K. Hello to you as well. Is that how I say it? Mr. T5K or just Mr. T? How about we call you Mr. T? You got the Mohawk? Mohawk's pretty cool. Mohawk's cool. Blackhawks have a lot of fans around the country. A lot of Chicago transplants all over. Yeah, it's pretty in indicative even when you watch like... Like if you watch a game where they're the visiting team, you'll see a lot of those red jerseys. It's I, like, it's really weird. And to this day, to me, it's just, it's crazy. I want to go in the hole. Can I go in the hole? Yes, jump down the big hole. Let's go. Yes. You would think more franchise owners would try to elevate a player to celebrity status so they could sell more merch. <clears throat> Well, the Hawks do. The Blackhawks do. The Bulls aren't very good at that. They never have been. They really haven't. Wow, this is cool. Look at this. This is really neat. God, this game has good music. I can't believe people would actually come down here. What are you, just curious or just stupid? Um, yes. Eh, sorry, I'm just rude by nature. Don't let it bother you. I mean, don't be rude. <laughs> Have a good lurk, Mel. It's a bald guy who had a mohawk. You miss it? Oh, nice. It's spelled... It's just spelled out. MRT5K. Oh. MRT5K. It kind of reminds me of MST3K. Like, uh, Mystery Science Theater. Kind of gives me that vibe. Oh, there's treasures here. Look at that. This is really cool music. Can I go in this hole? Go in the hole. Sand Boyle, it says. That's a scary name. Oh! <laughs> Where are we going now? Uh, oh, man. We just got vomited out by a sand, sand hole. All right. Let's do it again. Do 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 Follow your passion if you can get enough to live on it. Yeah. I mean that's true. That's absolutely true. You gotta have the uh foundation first. I mean I didn't start streaming to do it for a living. That wasn't the goal. Never was. I found a brace. Okay. <clears throat> I streamed because it was fun and it still is. That's it. Like, it was a hobby. I wanted to hang out with people and share, like, passions and talk about topics that we have in common or things that maybe people want to learn about. That's still why I stream. But for whatever reason, after, like, two years or well, a year and a half of doing that, it started working. <laughs> it just started working. And I'm like, huh, this is weird. I wasn't really expecting this. Ooh, we get to test out our new weapons now. Fossaker? Let's try to steal from it first. Where is it? Pilfer. There we go. One day, hope it works for you. I don't have to tell you, man. Oh, I stole Mithril? This might be a bad place. <laughs> We're seeing Mithril. You published your first few tabletop RPG books recently. That's awesome. 
Uh, I streamed a Pathfinder campaign on this channel every Saturday for a year and a half. <laughs> so I understand. That's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool. All right, this thing is... I didn't actually look at its element. It must be yellow. It's the Earth Dragon, right? MRT, this game is really good. Like, it, the, the aesthetics of this game just stand out so much. Um, the music, the visuals, the uh, just the characters, the story. Like, I don't feel like ever rushed by this game. I just feel like I'm on along for the ride. And it's a good ride. Nice damage, Bob. Hell yes. Good job, Bob. Totally normal trenches, Eagle. You think we got mimics coming up? Is that what you're saying, Mr. Eagle? Ooh, this thing is very physical resistant. Okay. So we want elements on this. There you go. How long have I been into tabletop life? Um, well, I first played Baldur's Gate 2 in 2000, and that introduced me to D&D. And then after that, I started playing tabletop proper. I did my first DM campaign in like 06. I don't know. I've just been playing since like 2000. Tabletop proper like 2004? Somewhere around there? You like this enemy? What do you like about it, Don Spooky? What's tabletop? Tabletop is literally... Oh, what tabletop? World of Darkness. Oh, wow. When I was doing game development in 06, somebody from White Wolf was, like, trying to hire people from our group that we were trying to make, um games with and they hired one person um i remember talking to her and she's like don't don't feel bad they didn't pick you she's like i feel like the only reason they picked me is because i was a writer and a woman i was like oh man <laughs> damn it uh, they were going for that route she's like yeah she's like i'll write it out and see how well it works i was like okay good luck she's a cool gal she's a cool gal all right bob you need to light this thing up Bush Basher. Let's go. This is Bomb Carry. 109. It's not dead. The field is full green. We don't see that very often. He doesn't really have any. Let's try Photon Beam here. This might be useful. How you doing today, Cinny? I played for the first time Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I want to say it was uh, like a year ago, maybe a little more. That was an awesome game. I was very impressed. I like the White Wolf system. As long as you have a good ST, as they call them, or storyteller, as long as they can keep everyone on the reins, then it's pretty awesome. kind of creepy he's like a tree that's on an exploration adventure he has a mysterious pot you know what those are all excellent points <laughs> you're right that is what he <laughs> uh, did i get the complete patch yeah i think so we had some kind of patch that like fixed stuff except for the start of it was terrible because it was like a voice acted portion and it sounded like some dude hooked up a logitech headset and recorded this voice acted portion of like some tutorial and i was like is this game gonna sound like that was my first experience in that game with voice acting i think was this like logitech headset bullshit i was like is this game gonna be like this everyone's like no 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 that was just somebody that made the patch and they did this i was like oh god i hope so because that was awful <laughs> it was so bad 
This thing is really hard. What the fuck is that right next to her? I don't know. What is that? There's like a bomb next to her. Is it a bomb? <laughs> is this a boss? I really hope not, but it won't die. <laughs> uh, it won't fucking die. It's a bomb. Oh no. Don't kill Bob. Please don't kill Bob. Bob is our buddy. Can we, can we, oh man, I don't even think this thing's weak yet. <sighs> okay. There, I have another arrow saucer. Yes, yes. Why are we not done? Bomber. Uh, guy, you take care of this, bro. <laughs> Why sir Bob? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, it's going to blow up. Okay. This is fine. Oh no. Um um hmm. Let's just start throwing attacks at it. The bomb is the bot. Oh my god, it's gonna do some nasty things to us, isn't it? 57. Okay. Defend. Def. What, do you have any white spells here? You do. Alright, hit it. Oh, jeez. Suicide bot. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we did not save Bob, did we? 50. Oh, okay, we're good. I thought it was going to be like 500. <laughs> Stole a mithril, got a mithril. Feels good, I got to tell you. Feels pretty darn good. That was a long battle. Holy heck. Doing the speed run? Sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> Thanks for the GG, MR. This place is exceptionally dangerous. I don't think I should be here right now. Oh no, that's another one. It's just a casual enemy. All right, it's time to go. It is time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> that was a casual enemy. It took like 10 minutes. We won. But no. I'm more interested in getting characters I want to get first. And then just mowing through everybody. That's more of my vibe. <laughs> Taylor's like, oh, it's looking pretty late here. Well, it's been fun, little tree archaeologist monster, but I gotta get going. See you later. We won, but at what cost? Hey, Juset, welcome back. How are you? How you been? Oh, what a great soundtrack. Alright, water, water island. The Fargo told us to head up Water Island. So we shall, after a good save. Save? Save? Thank you. You're jamming hard. It's, man. An over map. Oh, I love this game, man. It's, this game is, like, seriously underrated. Let's see if I missed anything. I know there's this here, but we can't do anything there yet. The most underrated. What do you think, Joker? For those of you that have played this game, what do you think? Underrated or overrated? 
But also tell us why you think that way. I don't think there are any wrong answers because like any art, games are art. They're subjective. So it might mean something different to you than others. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit up that island. I didn't find anything. Easily underrated. This just feels like the properly paced, relaxing, but extremely well-produced RPG experience that I remember from the 90s and early 2000s. This has a low rating. A lot of people compare this to Chrono Trigger because it's technically a sequel to it. But my point that I always try to make is that literally nothing in the world compares to Chrono Trigger because it's often regarded as one of the greatest RPGs ever made. <laughs> so it's not a fair comparison. Underrated, mostly from trying to ride off a stellar installment before it. Right. King Bro Sidon, who has an excellent name. Hot take, you liked it more in Chrono Trigger. Interesting. Did you play it first? Um, did you play it for, before Chrono Trigger? Were you not into gaming when Chrono Trigger was new? You played it second. Interesting. Wow. I would love to hear why you liked it better. Because that's an uncommon viewpoint. And again, remember, it's this is subjective, so there's no wrong answer. This isn't a criticism, but a desire to understand. Rin Vinder, similar note, what is an RPG you love but no one talks about? I mean, in this community, people talk about it because I bring it up enough, but Seventh Saga. I love that game, but it's a shitty game. <laughs> It's a, it's a badly made RPG. At least the English version is. I just really like it. I really like it. You think Chrono Trigger is overrated, Cinny? People aren't able to objectively look at Chrono Trigger because of nostalgia. Fair enough. You mentioned yours is Lost Odyssey. Yeah, not a lot of people. I don't even think you got to play that game. People ca walking casually beside a huge scorpion. I noticed that, didn't you? <laughs> uh. Cutscenes were mind blowing for the time it came out in your opinion. Fair enough. Yeah, that was pretty um, emblematic of uh, Square Enix games. Back in the late 90s, the uh, full motion video cutscenes. A lot of their games had that stuff. A lot. Some were better than others. Like the Final Fantasy games arguably had the best quality cutscenes. But this game was no slouch either. You feel that way about Quest 64? No kidding. You know what I, uh, the way I feel about Quest 64, it was, is unrealized potential. The game plays and feels like an alpha. Um, this like big 3D world with this RPG system, which is kind of limited, but a little fun, but there's just, it's so full of nothing. Like there's nothing to do in that game except the linear path for the most part. And that really disappointed me um, because I really wanted Quest 64 to have more. Like I remember getting to the, the big city the big castle city or whatever it's called in Quest 64, and you couldn't go in like one single building. Maybe one. It was like this whole city full of buildings. I remember, oh, it reminded me of Ocarina of Time. You can go in like most houses in that game, right? In the, the castle town. So I get there in Quest 64. All the doors are just... That's it. They're just doors. And I want to say that one of the reasons it disappointed me so much is because... I vaguely recall advertisements or previews of that game in game magazines that were showing off or trying to show you how oh, you can go in this building in and out and it's seamless and there's no loading or load screen. And then when you play the game, none of that happened. It was like the game was rushed and they didn't finish it. And I just wish they had because that game had a lot of potential. You clicked with the setting, bro, Sidon, as far as Chrono Cross, the amount of characters and how deep the lore was. The lore is very tightly connected to Chrono Trigger in a 
but in a way that you don't ever have to have played Chrono Trigger to understand it. It's interesting. There's a Game Boy Quest 64, right, Joker? Yeah, I think you... I, w I want to try that. Quest 64 got a rando? What? <laughs> no way. Are you going to play it? <laughs> you like Chrono Trigger, but you never had it in the EU until way later. Oh, wow. That's why the N64 didn't have a lot of other RPGs. Can't go a lot of places. Can't have a lot of places to go with limited memory. Yeah. You're not going to play? He's like, no. <laughs> oh. It cut content between earlier versions and its release because of memory issue. Wow. I think that's what it's called, Shad. That sounds right. I think... It's been a while. I think the last time I heard about it was from Juker himself. Seeking the Dragon God. Alright, I feel like we're going to have to go back to our normal world. And visit the water, water dragon there. Because this is all dried up and sealed off. Makes me wonder, imagine Quest 64, right? But on a GameCube. Or PlayStation, I suppose, yeah. GameCube, PlayStation. We probably could have gotten the game we wanted from it. <laughs> like, damn. Oh. That'd have been something. Your brother owns it? He still has it? Brian Cerny? No kidding. I bet that's rare. I bet that's a rare find. What about the Dragon Falls? We haven't visited these recently. Right. Text. You've already told me. All right. They're just repeating the same text. All right, let's uh, go up top and see what we can find. Oh, right, it's blocked off. God damn it. We gotta let you in until our expedition is complete. <laughs> Quest 64 is a 16 meg game. They probably couldn't justify the added cart cost based on projected sales. The cards did go up to 64 meg. Yeah, that's true. I think the biggest cart was Resident Evil 2 on the N64 because they had to compress but still store all the full motion video for that game. So it doesn't look nearly as good as PlayStation, but it's on there. You know what else is interesting about Resident Evil 2 on the N64? It had a built-in randomizer. <laughs> oh man, it had a built-in randomizer. Like, a randomizer is like a a term we see on, on Twitch all the time now. But 20 years ago, Resident Evil 2 and N64 had a built-in randomizer. People didn't even know what the hell that was back then. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. That's freaking amazing. <laughs> 20 years ahead of its time, basically. Well, I guess like 15 or so, right? All right, let's go back to Homeworld. Capcom being big brain. Yeah, for sure. Here's those cutscenes you were talking about uh, for a side -in. How cool is that? That's pretty, pretty, pretty slick transition right there. The, 
That's another hot. Th Let me rephrase that. That's another example of the production quality in this game. Just look at the smoothness of their run animations. It's, it's a lot more easy to see up close. Really looks good. Like, I'm just so used to old games, like old 3D games that had kind of janky run animations. You could see the, each frame. That's That looks really smooth. It was an incredible feat to compress all that video in a car that size. Absolutely, yeah. They took a whole disc full of FMV and compressed it into a 32 megabyte segment. Yeah, I think they had to, like, create their... I don't... I remember watching a video on YouTube about it. They had to create their own, like, compression algorithm for it or something. Like, just completely above and beyond ridiculousness. Yeah, and on the PS1. Oh, yeah, bro, I love this game. I, like, I'm one of those people that feels like this game is underrated. Um, I personally do like Chrono Trigger better. Um, and I don't, I don't think that's based on nostalgia. Um, I do have a lot of nostalgia for it, but I can objectively revisit the game and just continually be impressed by it more so than this game. I think it's a more cohesive narrative and experience than this game. But Chrono Trigger is one of the best examples ever of an RPG. So this game's still like way up there, <laughs> like way up there. Juker, make it like a community uh, channel point challenge or something. Like if you're on the fence about it, leave it up to the community. They'll make it happen, right? But they'll have to, you know, take the effort to make it happen. So it'll be worth it. Hello, Radish. Today's lecture is about the shit you already know about for the last 25 hours. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You don't want to play that on stream? Come on, man. You know you do. I'm just I'm just playing with you. I know. Juker's like entire stream experience, which is what I admire, is like my Saturdays. My Saturdays are just retro variety. We're just going to play games. You're going to vote for them. And we'll play one to, one to three games. Like Juker's stream, that's like all his streams. It's awesome. <laughs> it's, that's all he does. It's fucking great. Uh, speaking of, Saturday. Here you go. Straw poll. Saturday's games. Vote for as many as you want on that list. But remember, you can only vote once. So make sure you pick all the ones you like. The top one to three will be played Saturday. You love RPGs, you're not strong enough to do Quest 64. It's not probably not a short play, to be honest. I don't think you could fit it in a stream. Like, it's not a long RPG, but it's an RPG, so it's still longer than a stream. Do, 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 do. Once in a while, you get an RPG together, you never stream Chrono Trigger? No kidding. What RPG, if any, would you stream before any other? There's something special about suplexing a train you haven't experienced. <laughs> Ryu says there was only one game that stood on the same level as Chrono Trigger for how amazing it is. For you, it was Final Fantasy VI. Mm -hmm. For you to even want to play Quest 64, the pro strat is for you to basically loop around for hours to max out a chili. <laughs> uh, so you want to grind before you ever stream it. And then you'll be like, okay, so I made the save file to speed things up. Honestly, I think that's actually a good idea. Like just get like a save file prepared for it and then start the game and you have like all this extra agility and then you play it. <laughs> that's not really not the worst idea. Earthbound is ironically, I wouldn't say it's ironically, but my favorite RPG on Super Nintendo is Earthbound. What can I say? Here, and here's, here's the topic, the, the point I'm trying to make relative to everything we're saying. 
what we like the best doesn't mean it's objectively um, the best creation, right? Like, since games are art, it's hard to really say which one is the best. But usually there are gameplay elements and design elements and things along the way that you can objectively rate and determine which is made better. I think Chrono Trigger is a better made game than Earthbound, but I like Earthbound better. I think it's more fun for me personally. I have Mario Kart 64 on that list. Am I playing with someone else? No, I would just do like the the uh, the cup races. It would just be some cup races. I wouldn't pro. I would you know I would go through like a 50 cc full run or so. You know I wouldn't like try to 100 percent the game or anything. You know, we would just do some of those uh, Grand Prix or whatever they call them. I don't remember. It's been a very long time since I played it. And you know, the cart's sitting down there over in, on the shelf. All right, what do we got here? Anything different? We need to get a boat somehow. Thanks for the follows, by the way, folks. Glad to have you on board. Hope you're having a good time. Our follows are anonymous for you lurker friends out there, like myself. I'm a big lurker, and sometimes when I follow a channel, I'm always reluctant because I might be tired or busy, and I don't want to be in a conversation at that very second. So on my channel, I facilitate that by making sure follows are all anonymous, and I don't call out names specifically who do follow. Yeah, nothing's going on here. Okay. I'm a bit lost as to what I should do. Maybe I should examine the Pyre Shores in another world, or try to get to Termina? Maybe, maybe, maybe the mountain pass is open now. I didn't check that. I should check that. RPGs you need to stream are Chrono Trigger, Earthbound, Mother 3, Xenoblade 1 and 2. Xenoblade Chronicles, the remake, is a game that I'm going to be streaming at some point. Like one of the few modern games, because it's RPG. Like, I will play RPGs if they're really good. They don't have to be retro. You stream Final Fantasy 5, 10, 12, DQ8, DQ11, Yakuza 7. Nice, dude. That's a good selection. DQ11 is glorious. It's absolutely glorious. <laughs> Twas you, says Pumpkin Pie Man. Pumpkin Pie Man, thank you very much. I appreciate the follow. Inde, what's up, man? How are you? I was watching, uh, for me, it's today. I woke up 14 hours ago. I was watching Inde play some Fatal Frame. That was really cool. Your girlfriend personally requested Zeno 1 and 2. Oh, nice, dude. All right, well, if you ever get around to them, I hope you like them. I know they're long. <gasps> Let me in. Damn it, they're still investigating. All right. Dang. Look at that cat on his tree. I just don't want to leave because this music's so good. <laughs> I'm just going to sip it up. Chrono Cross is excellent, Inde. This is a... Uh, this game is an absolute vibe. It's just a total vibe. How much soundtrack in this is reworked from Chrono Trigger? So far, one song. Everything else has been unique and incredibly well made. The only song that's reworked from Chrono Trigger that I can in recognize is when you win a combat, it plays Lucas theme. Otherwise, I don't think I've heard any songs that have been the same. You thought the overworld music was? You exclusively dumped your stats into charisma. It worked, but at what cost? I mean, I'm right there with you. <laughs> For a while, I had constitution, but you know, you know, it's, you know, time, you know, like that one thing goes down and the other thing goes up, maybe. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, that's it. That's the same song, though. That's cool. That's pretty awesome. All right, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I think I got to go to the Pyre Shore. All 
All right, well, that's two songs then that they remade. Looks cool. Now the music in another world. I don't know. We'll have to listen to it to see if there's any connection there. That cat. He is just conked out on his tree. Look at that cat. This is what Inde gushes about every day on stream. It's amazing. He just does this like picture of cat. Look at my cat. Dude is just zonking out. Look at him. He is chill as hell right now. <laughs> Dude is so chill right now. He slept. He slept. <laughs> Strength is being able to crush a tomato. Dexterity is being able to dodge a tomato. Constitution is being able to eat a bad tomato. Intelligence is knowing a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put a tomato in a fruit salad. Charisma is being able to sell a tomato-based fruit salad. Yeah, those are all very accurate descriptions of the six stats in D&D. And now I'm going to add Inde and, uh, well, both of them, but, you know, Inde and Juker to my potential player list for my D&D one-shots. The Juker? Okay. Inde. <laughs> Good luck for me getting Inde or up at my time, though. Yeah, Mongus, he's just zonked. It's been 3,000 years. No time like the present, dude. 5e is easy to get into. Every one shot I've done has been, has had a player that has not played it before. It's not a big deal. I promise you. Let's get in our boat. It's my boat. It's Jenna. You always feel like a scrub? Yeah, that's just imposter syndrome bullshit. Don't worry about it. You haven't touched five yet? I've played three one shots now in fifth edition. It's so easy to get into. I was very shocked. It took me five minutes to make my first character and I was asking three people that I asked to help me do it. I was like, wait, did I do something wrong here? That took five minutes. Like, no, that's how it goes. And they looked it over. No, I, it took five minutes. <laughs> it's like, wow. You mean the game actually gets the fuck out of the way so we can role play? Sick. <laughs> wow. Oh. I don't know if we can go through here yet. Can we? Can we? I think we can. Okay. Okay. This is going to be a tomorrow thing. I was like going to just go in here to do a little reconnoitering here. A little recon. It's got to be a tomorrow thing. It's 510 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Your longest D in the game is four years. Whoa. That's cool. It says I should search for the dragon in Water Isle. Interesting. Roll 20 is great, but they've been having a lot of issues lately. That's what I ran my campaign on. Dude, resolution switch ND on this retro tink 5X. Look at this, man. Oh, look at our health. We immediately went to one health in that place. We can't go in that dungeon. <laughs> it's instant. This is ridiculous. If that was an OSSC, it would be like one to four seconds. If it was a Frame Meister, longer. And then it's up to your capture card if it wants to deal with that too. This is just like, bam. Menu, open, close. Like, man, 